going on, people? We just getting started. We are just getting started, y'all. How y'all doing tonight? Happy hump day. I'm that dude named Dave, and I am back again. Man, we've hidden uh, four straight lives in a row, right? Trying to get back into this mix here, right? How y'all doing tonight? Shout out to everybody that's going to be here live. Shout out to the replay gang. Shout out to the ninja watches. We will get into it in a second here. You know, I'm trying to clean up what we had yesterday. You know, I didn't get to everything I want to talk about yesterday. But yo, y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. She never met her boyfriend. Okay. No less than a hundo. Yo, we about to get into it again, guys. It's 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 the same, but it's different. It's the same, but it is different. We're going to get into it. We're going to rock happy hump day. Before we get started here, it is April 17th here. Shout out to everybody out there. How y'all living out there in your neck of the woods? Okay. I see a few people in the chat already. We're just letting it build up right now. What's going on, Pooh Man? Pooh Man talking about he part of the replay gang. That's all right, man. Replay gang? Yeah. I feel you, man. What's going on, Tom? It's good to see you. Got Jurgen in the house here. We're just getting started here. What's going on? It's morning where you at? Pinball saying, I'm here, SIC, sitting in traffic on I-10. Okay, you in traffic. That's what's up, man. What's going on, Mo? What's going on? We're just getting started here. Hey, let me do the early stuff. Let's get it out the way here, right? I'm that dude named Dave. I'm an independent content creator. So you know what we do here, right? You see the Cash App ticker scrolling below there? We also have super chat, super thanks, super stickers. You know why? Because it's hump day Wednesday, which means that it's super chat Wednesday. You know, show y'all support, show y'all love, man. You know what I mean? When it comes to this, this YouTube game, it's not, it's, this ain't easy. A little hard. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep pushing through. You see my voice still a little bit raspy right now, guys. I'm still trying to push on through keep on trucking you know what i mean uh before we even get on with today's show i want to say if you missed any of the previous live streams i've been on almost every day this week so far guys so y'all can go back replay gang what you missed here we live stream tuesday we live stream monday we were here on a sunday night even shante was like what they doing on the sunday night well you know i was here so, you know, like if you guys were like, hey, what's going on? Like, is there any more content day? Yo, there's some previous lives. So if y'all missed the last three days or so, y'all can go back and kick back with that, okay? But if y'all already here, do that later. Stick right here right now, right? Okay. And also too, guys, I need to know if I'm struggle streaming or not. I've been talking for a few minutes here and I don't know if the struggle is real or not. Press a one if y'all can hear me. Press two if you can't. Let go. <laughs> Give y'all a second here. See if I get some ones in the audience here. Make sure I'm not struggle streaming, guys. What's going on, Divine? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, Divine. Yeah. I'm going to sit here and wait, guys. Did y'all not? Can y'all hear me? I just want to make sure. <laughs> you know, is anybody out there? I just want to make sure y'all can hear me. Am I struggle streaming? Do I sound okay? You know, my settings say I'm connected. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see a couple of ones here. Yeah, like y'all sit back and be like, you know, just be listening. So I need y'all participation every once in a while. Got to make sure that I'm not just be like, you know what I'm saying? All right. So Divine gave me a one. Pinball gave me a one. Arvin, what's going on, Arvin? You gave me a one. Jerry gave me a one. All right. All right. Y'all can hear me. I just got, I got to make sure. I don't want to continue on doing a live stream for like five or ten minutes and everything is on mute all right so thank you y'all can hear me y'all can hear me all right guys we're gonna get into it in a second here man give me one second here guys give me one second hey what's going on sheila Sheila just pulled up let me do that here oh yeah so while we're getting started here i just want to send a shout out to eric jordan and the frank green yesterday ej was yesterday's sponsor Appreciate EJ the skip master every time he comes in here. It was him and Frank's birthday yesterday. Collected, I think they said a 35 and 39 collectively. So, you know, send a shout out to them. We we, we celebrated my happy birthday yesterday. I know they're not here yet. I don't know they're going to be here today. But if y'all part of the replay gang, no, I forgot about you. Just want you to know, thank you for coming through yesterday and happy birthday again. 
Yeah. Well, let, let, now it's my try. You know, people support me. You know, y'all have y'all birthdays, you know. You know, it's y'all special days. You came in here and you let us know. So I just want y'all to know, it's like, hey, we understand. Congratulations. Hope y'all had a good day. You know what I'm saying? Don't know what you got going on for the weekend. But shout out to y'all. Divine says, I got to send you this Kendra video of the She-Hulk looking, looking for a man making 100K. Oh, okay. Make sure I ain't done it yet, brother. <laughs> Make sure I ain't done it yet. Make sure I ain't done it yet. We're going to get cooking in a second here. Let me just do this here. Give me one second, guys. I just got off work myself here, too, as well. So, you know, I, I, I'm on the plantation, too. You know, so I go transition from the work to here. Yeah, give me one second, guys. No, I'm about to cut the music off, too. No minute here. And while I'm checking a few things out here, for the few people that's here in the chat here, TD and D roll call, guys. City, state, zip, area code, rep where you from. You know where I'm at here. 630 Chicagoland suburb, stand up. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Give me one second, y'all. We getting, we about to get cooking in a minute, guys. What's going on, Peter? Got Peter in the crib here. I see you, man. I see you. We just getting started. Let me do this here. All right. All righty. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I'm glad I did that. I didn't want that going off, guys. There we go. Let's do this here. I see Boston 617 math for Thomas there. Where are y'all at? Y'all quiet as hell. I got to wake y'all up. Do I got to yell into the mic? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where y'all at? There we go. Sheila representing 630 Elmhurst. There we go. Pinball. Tampa 813 via the DMV 202. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Let me cut this music off now. <laughs> there we go. MOP in Wilmington, Delaware. 302. 302. F Moist Wack is bitch ass. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, man, we're going to get into it right now, man. I'm going to wait for y'all to come in here. Some of y'all are slipping right now. I see the number in the chat here right now. I, I have a cord. I have a number who's actually watching me. So what y'all see on YouTube and what I see are two different numbers, right? So I'm like, yo, if I ask y'all something, come on, help your boy out here. <laughs> Peter 514 Montreal. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to get into it. Jurgen from Germany. Thank you, man. Thank you. Like I said here, welcome to the Wednesday pull-up here. We're going to get into it in a few moments here. Like I said, shout out to Frank and Eric for their birthdays yesterday. You know, all love. Uh, I just want to get into a few things. I said DT, Dave's thoughts to start the show here. I'm going to call it TDT, that dude's thoughts, right? Just for a few minutes, not no long stroking, just a few minutes while we get the – I know notifications don't really go out these days, but as we get the – you know, I get my bearings going and get the show started. Arvin Tulsa 918 represent. Thank you, man. I'm I'm a little bit in a bad mood right now, guys. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get better in a few moments. Don't worry about it. I'm in a bad mood because you know I have Xfinity for my cable provider out here, and I ordered a new cable box for one of my bedrooms. So they shipped me the new uh, cable box on Friday. So on Saturday I went through the whole self-install crap, right, and couldn't get it connected. I mean, I'm not I'm not new to this, right? I work in IT, right? Help desk when I first got the got it started. So I know the how to work my self-install kit, right? Divine 718 NYC. That's what's up. Good to see you, man. So I already have three cable boxes in my house. So this will be the fourth one. You know, we got I got a lot of TVs in the crib here. You know what I'm saying? So I went through everything that I went through, and then the crap ain't working. So I go to their service there, and they it's not even a phone number no more. You got to go to their chat and got to type with them. I don't want to chat. I want to be on the phone and get on the phone with y'all, you know? So I'm chatting with them for like an hour and a half. They can't get my stuff fixed. Keep telling me, receipt your cables. Motherfucker, I've received these cables a million times before I called y'all, right? Girl, unplug the coaxial cable. Done that. Take it off from the wall. Done that. Reseat it. Power it down. I was doing all this crap here to the point they was like, okay, Mr. Jordan, we're going to escalate your issue. I'm like, all right, thank you. Escalate my issue. Sunday comes, don't hear nothing. Monday comes, don't hear nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm live streaming all day. So I'm live streaming Sunday night. I'm working all day Monday, live streaming Monday. You know, yesterday, same thing. So today I'm at work. I'm like, F this. Like, yo, what the hell? And they're like, how can we help you? How can you help me? Y'all slipping. <laughs> you know? So I'm like, yo, like, y'all need to fix this goddamn cable box. Y'all charge me something that's not in use right now. We see it connected. You don't see a goddamn thing connected. What the hell y'all talking about? 
So then I go through it and they start talking. I said, look here. I said, no, I am not chatting with you guys no more. I told them that. I said, this is frustrating. You, this is supposed to be escalated. Y'all supposed to be called me back. I'm calling y'all back, right? So then they give me a call back. I told the dude strip. I said, look here, dog. I'm already frustrated. This ain't on you. But I ain't going to do this basic level one shit, right? I am not receiving the coaxial cable from the wall, from the cable box. I did that seven times before I called y'all on, said, on, sun, on Saturday. I did like another four or five times on Saturday with, with the guy, the rep on the chat there. And I did it again before I hit y'all up. I am not receiving the coaxial cable. I am not receiving the power cable. I am not receiving the cable from the TV. The shit don't work. Escalate it, right? So the guy goes back and forth, you know, and, I'm, and he's trying to I'm rebooting the box. I'm like, nothing's being helped is happening. It's not being rebooted. I'm rebooting. I go to my other room. Nah, dog, you rebooted my other goddamn TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you reboot the wrong TV. And they're going back and forth, going back and forth. And it was like, okay, sir, we're going to have to escalate this to a technician. Didn't I tell y'all this? This is what happened on Saturday, and you tell me the same crap right now? <laughs> God dizzle. So now they got someone to come out on Friday. It was like, well, make sure that you let us know that when it's working so you can get credit. Man, y'all should know the TV box ain't working, bastards. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I was, I was, I'm a little frustrated because I'm telling the guy, look, I'm not doing this. Oh, I'm rebooting the box. Ain't nothing being rebooted. What's the error message? It's stuck in the goddamn welcome screen. Do you guys have a ticketing system? Do you guys know that I chat off y'all before? Do you guys not see the notes? Oh, man. So I just got off the phone with him like literally like 30 minutes ago. So I'm trying to woo side out right now because that is so frustrating, the fact that you spend money on them every goddamn month. They should have their notes there, and then they're going to act like this is my first time reaching out to them. And then what made me what I'm really more frustrated about they kept asking me do you have internet connectivity issues no motherfucker i keep telling you it's a brand new cable box <laughs> then they asked me some <laughs> other questions this this one really hit the fan for me and he knew i was frustrated like are you are you deaf or are you dumb or definitely dumb right because like when did the problem happen do you have my account up here I originally had three cable boxes. This is a brand new cable box number four here. I've never used it. I got delivered on Friday. I told y'all, reach out to y'all on Saturday. What's the goddamn problem? So that's what happened there, guys. That's why I was frustrated. Like, you're asking me repeated questions I told you I was not going to answer because you should have no when we did this already. And then you're going to ask me when the problem happened. Kid, I told y'all, this is a brand new cable box. So God dizzle, guys. So I'm Usan right now. I'm coming down. That was the that's what no TD one of part of TDT's thoughts right now. Goddamn cable company. I told I told them you, you told me it's gonna be escalated, and then I gotta go through your level one again. Don't do it. Oh man. So whoever gonna come out on Friday, he he better know what the hell he's doing. All right. I ain't gonna be mean to him. I'm gonna tell him, yo, your automated system sucks. Okay, man. Sheila's like, yeah, so I understand. Yeah, I yell at the automated service system. You do? Yeah, yeah. Peter says, they don't want to admit fault and proclaim that it's your fault. And they're sitting there going back on, we see it working. And it like, they asked me for my goddamn serial number three times. Like, don't y'all know I've given y'all the serial number? I'm just like, I keep giving y'all the serial number to the cable box. Like, y'all shipped it to me. Y'all see it in the system here. I typed it out to y'all. What's the problem here? Man, they deserve the sensor button. Nah, they deserve to get this work pinball. <laughs> and it's already good. but yeah man that's why i'm 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 coming to right now right but that literally a part of me was like why did i even call them up like i knew i was gonna live stream so why did i do that and get my blood pressure going get myself all pissed off for no goddamn reason but yeah that's what it is it's not it, the thing is it's the fr i'm frustrated because they told me they were gonna do something and they didn't do it i'm a stickler as a consumer that when i reach out to you and I'm paying a service. And then when you see my account, I am never late on my bill. I do automatic bill pay, so they take that money out every single month at the same goddamn time. I pay the bill every single month. I am a consistent customer, so y'all get my money. Treat me like a real customer here. Don't be acting like, oh, oh, what, what, what's going on? We, man, come on. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. So, yeah, that's the first thing, guys. So I apologize. You know what I mean? But, yo, I, I, should, I shouldn't have reached out to him right before the show. I should have just said, hey, let me just, but I had already waited four days, and now I was just mad as hell, guys. So, yeah, first thought, out the door, 
Luckily enough, though, the internet is still working right now. I'm complaining right now, so I wouldn't even trip that Comcast and might do some stuff to me to trigger this podcast and then mess up the live stream and have me all choppy again. But you know what, though? We here. So, all right, though, let's move on to the next point here. Next order of business before I get into the, the Dick Nadigans here. Uh, I got to say, I love this time of the year. This is my favorite time of the year, y'all. You want to know why? I'm a diehard sports fanatic, and I love the first-round NBA playoffs. Not going to talk long on this here. I just love the fact that we are on, you know, the cusp of playoff basketball. You know, we had the playing game yesterday. The Lakers won yesterday, and then uh, what was it Sacramento knocked out Golden State. So Golden State's out of here, you know. L.A. Uh, lives to breathe another day. They're going to play Denver in the first round. So I believe it's going to be, what, Sacramento and New Orleans for the final playing game. And then we got, you know, my Chicago Bulls playing the Atlanta Hawks, and I believe it was it Miami and Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference here. I'm digging the play the playing games because you get like the middle of the week to build into the playoffs. And the reason why I love the playoffs, guys, is the fact that we have games every single day starting in sa- Saturday that matter. I, that's the biggest thing about the regular season in whatever sports is. A lot of games don't matter. NFL, every game matters. But in basketball and baseball, you have those scheduled losses and, you know, you have games that really don't matter because, you know, it's a long season, 82 games. Baseball is 162 day, games, right? But when you get to the playoffs, every game matters. And then to have a game every single day, starting from Saturday, basically it's like the first week of May. You know what I mean? So when you have competitive basketball, and then with the Western Conference, man, the matchups are going to be so good right now. Like, you got Dallas and the Clippers in the first round. Come on, baby. Come on. I heard someone on another podcast. Shout out to my man, Upper Echelon. Someone was on his uh, panel talking about the Lakers going to beat Denver. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Lakers going to get their ass molly Man, Man, what, what are we talking about here? This as well. You can only send four. What are you saying here? I'm glad to see Golden State out of the playoffs. Hey, man, they shot themselves in the foot, man. Draymond missed how many games? They won 46 games, 10 games over 500, right? And can't get to the playoffs. And you know why? Draymond. Draymond's their Achilles heel. So you know what, though? You live by the sword, you die by the sword, you know? Though all those antics work when you win 60 games. When you older and you fighting for your playoff lives, that just don't work no more. So Golden State's out of here, you know. Um... New Orleans is done. I just saw earlier that Zion Williamson, his hamstring, he's he's done for the playing game on, was it Friday? And let's say if New Orleans does win, they said that he won't be reevaluated for another few weeks. So once again, another injury takes Zion out. You know, so Draymond's a hothead. He's more than a hothead, man. <laughs> What's going on, Larry? Vince as well. You can only send 400 credit to any account, but it saves stamps. I'm old school for real, day. We talk about 400 credit. What are you talking about? Hey, Vince, I don't know what you're talking about with that one. <laughs> you missed me on that one. Meanwhile, my Knicks have the second seed in the Eastern Conference. Hey, Larry, that's fool's gold. <laughs> Don't fall for that banana tailpipe, Larry. I know y'all Knicks love it. Jalen Brunson's balling, right? But y'all got to remember something in New York. We had Tom Thibodeau before y'all had Tom Thibodeau, okay? Tom Thibodeau is notorious for getting the most out of his players during the regular season. That's going to get you that first, second, third seed. Get you some home court advantage in the playoffs here. But when it comes to the playoffs, don't even think that y'all going far, okay? He going to milk out every single win in the regular season. Playoff time comes, hey, man, y'all second round at best. You know what I'm saying? If y'all even get to the conference finals, y'all getting your ass handed by Boston. Okay? So when when I see all the ESPN links and the videos and people from New York all happy, like, we the second seed, we the Knicks. Jalen Brunson's that dude. Yeah, Jalen Brunson's balling his ass off, man. He he, Man, Dallas missed out as, as cold as Kyrie is. You could have had Jalen Brunson for a quarter of the price and then use that money to spread out to even go deeper into your roster there. Don't get it twisted. Kyrie is kicking ass right now. Kyrie is kicking ass and taking names. God does Like, I've never in, in a situation can look at Kyrie as the most improved player. But when you see how he's balling this year from last year, you got to make that consideration, man. But y'all New York Knicks, 
Yo, it's a Tom Thibodeau team. Y'all don't have, what's his name, Julius Randle. He had the shoulder injury, so he's down and out. So you know what I'm saying? So hey, Knicks, that's just a foregone conclusion. Y'all just playing with house money right now. It's another Tom Thibodeau team that gives you a high seed, and y'all going to get out the playoffs real soon. You know what I mean? Peter says, it's Golden State's fault for nailing Draymond's bad behavior. Yeah, man, they allowed it. But you know what, though? When you win in, you allow stuff to happen when you win in. But when you lose, oh, man, it's magnified 20 times, man. Shot town the building. What's going on? Draymond giving up half right now. Yeah, I heard he's going through divorce already. Shot town, I heard he's going through divorce already. He had just got married like a few years ago. It was like a big celebration. LeBron was there. Chris Paul was there. Carmelo was there. I saw it online. They had like a big old estate. It was, it was, he got kids with the chick and everything. They've been getting it for years. He get, just got married and now going through the divorce. See, this is the reason. When that you are a young athlete, you making this kind of money, whether you're young as an athlete or you're a young engineer, you're young in your career, and you're making a gang of money. It explains why you should not get married before the age of 30. I don't care if you slipped up and had kids with the chick here, right? Because we have noticed that these guys who are in high profile positions or high profile athletes, they get married before 30 and right before they retire, they're getting divorced. Okay. I bet his wife initiated. I'm going to look into that, Larry. Probably. You know, but this is a proven point that no athlete or no high price, no guy's a high salary earner who's young as hell should not get married before 30. I don't care if you even got kids right now. You know what I mean? Because you know what? It is just proven time and time again that before their career ends, divorces happen. How about you go ahead and get married after your career ends? You're not on the road all the time. You're not making that kind of money. So you're getting married. You're getting used to a situation where you're going to see each other all the time. You get married when you're in the league. You're, you're, you know, you get to see each other in the offseason. But during the season, you're on the road, road trips. You're gone for weeks at a time. You know, you have your life where you're single. Then you come back home and have your family life and things like that. You, you get the best of both worlds. And then when you actually retire, you're stuck in this purgatory of, oh, I'm not playing no more. And so everybody's got to adjust. The woman is used to you not being home the kids not used to being home it's all kinds of chaos and you know it never works so hey man shout out to every, all these nba players don't get married to after 30 until your playing career is over because you know what's gonna happen you're gonna get divorced and your girl's gonna take half your money man vince says public utilities of oklahoma dave you can send so much in advance we talk about public utilities i'm talking about i'm talking about my cable box vince i don't know what you're talking about vince <laughs> I got to be honest with you. My rant was about my cable box and trying to get my cable box installed. <laughs> I don't need some of my utilities, brother. <laughs> I'm lost right now. What you ty typing in the chat? <laughs> Derek Jeter played it smart. And yeah, Larry, you in New York, so you understand, you know, the captain, El Capitan, Derek Jeter, he went through the roster of roster women. He didn't do Nick Cannon and got all those girls knocked up. Matter of fact, him and Nick Cannon kind of dated some of the same girls too, right? But Derek Jeter never got none of those girls pregnant, not knocked up, no weddings and engagements and stuff like that. Nah, he just ran through how he ran through. He retired and got married after 40 and then had a kid. Hey, Derek Jeter, is and now he's in Florida living his best life. Hey, man, you can't play it no perfectly than that. Go through the roster, living in New York, being the man in New York, winning World Series, making hundreds of millions of dollars, and then when it's all said and done, you got your grades, you, you got out of your system. You're like, all right, then I'm going to settle down now. That's the way it's supposed to be, man. That's the way it's supposed to be. Shout out to Derek Jeter, man. Shout out to Derek Jeter. But shout out to the rest of the NBA playoffs, man. Like, reason why I brought this up is because I am actually happy I am not, I'm not in New York this week. I'll be in New York on Sunday, guys. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, this will be like the last point that before we move on, we're going to get into the show, uh, is that I talk about it often. You know, I'm a, you know, you know, I love ba a boxing, right? And Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia this Saturday night. I'm not the only one that said, I'm not buying tickets to this shit show. Because no one's buying tickets to this shit show. <laughs> Yo, why would I go in town? And here's the thing, too, with me, guys. I told y'all, I don't pay for no plane tickets. I don't pay for no hotel. When I'm in town for work, I get a per diem. When I, when I come back home, I sometimes I can make money. I'm never out of pocket. And I'm telling y'all, I didn't want to waste my time going to the traffic in the Barclays to see a sucky undercard and maybe a jab, jab, hold festival of, 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 uh, of the main event here, right? Let me show y'all something. It is Wednesday evening right now. It is April 17th. 
The fight is April 20th, Saturday night, guys, Saturday night. Let me show you how the ticket's looking right now. This is the tickets. Hold on, I'm going to go smaller here so y'all can see it. You see all that blue? Hold on. Let me scroll in. Let's do this here. Let's do it the right way. Hold on. Oh, y'all look at that, guys. Look at all those seats available. You're going to tell me that I'm going to go ahead and fight through traffic in the Barclays, pay a high fee with the Uber cost on a Saturday night to go into a building where no one's going to be in this bitch? Hold on. Let me zoom in some more, guys. Let me zoom in some more. Let me do this here. Yo, look at all these seats over here. All these seats. Look at the ringside seats here, guys. All this blue is available here. This is one hell of a shit show. And they got the audacity. They got the mitigated gall that want to charge some high price tickets that no one's going to be in the goddamn building. They at one point were charging $18,000 for floor seats. Well, how am I going to look paying $18,000 for floor seats when no one named mama's in the building? <laughs> you know, so I say all this to say, thank God for NBA playoff basketball, because I was on the fence saying, am I going to go to this fight? Am I going to go check? You know, it's like, no, I'm not going to the fight. Well, I ordered the fight. Well, I went on the zone, right? The zone is actually trying to out here rob folks, right? If you don't have a subscription to zone, they trying to lock you in on a one year subscription. When you buy the pay-per-view, I don't want no subscription. When I buy the fight, I just want to buy the fight. They lock you in on a 12 month subscription. That's costing y'all $29.99 a month. If you go ahead and order pay-per-view in the zone here, talk about some bait and switch bullshit here. You know what I'm going to do here for all the box fans that listen to me on the replay gang and the cast who listen to me. Now I'm not ordering the fight. I'm not going to do what the zone's trying to get me to do is trying to take my goddamn money. You know what I'm going to do? I think the first game starts around 11 a.m. Saturday, and I'm going to go ahead and run my errands before I go out of town for Sunday, and I'm just going to watch basketball all day. That's what happens when you do a janky promotion, Oscar De La Hoya. That's what happens when you run a janky promotion, Bill Haney. You tell you calling your son the face of boxing. How is he the face of boxing when no one don't want to go buy a goddamn ticket to the fight, and people don't want to go and buy the damn pay-per-view? You know what I'm saying? This is what you call faking it till you're making it goes wrong, okay? You are not the face of boxing. You are a good fighter, but you're not an exciting fighter. You are not someone that says, I want to spend my hard on money on. And until you guys change our program, it's going to be the same routine over and over again. So that's why I say thank you for NBA playoff basketball because when I my sport that I love boxing be falling flat on his ass here during this time period in spring and early summer, the playoffs is here to save me. Thank you, NBA. Thank you. Okay. Had to get that off my chest, guys. Talked about that. All right. We're going to get going here. We're going to get the show started. You know what I'm saying? I got that off my chest here. Y'all ready to get the show started? Press one. Let's get, the, let's get it started here. Like I said here, guys, I'm an independent content creator. We got the Cash App ticker that's going down below there. I'm going to take it off the screen here when we get the show started now. So you guys know that if you all want to contribute on the Cash App, you guys go in the description box below. If not, we got the Super Chat, Super Thanks, and Super Stickers, baby, because you know these live streams don't pay for themselves. You know what I mean? So let me see some ones in here. We're going to get this party started. That was D, That was TDT. That dude's thoughts. Got it out of the way here, you know? I didn't want to long stroke, long stroke y'all too much here. I just want to get the party started. You know, I'm a little pissed off because of Comcast here. You know what I'm saying? So I just needed to go ahead and just drain DSI pause out of that negative energy out of my system because they over here messing me up right now. But I got it out of my system. We good to go now. Hope everybody's having a good day right now on this hump day. You know what I mean? The weather's been up and down right now in Chicago. We got this rain back in. We had some good weather. So it is what it is right now. Okay, I see a few ones in the building. Okay, let's get it, let's get it going here, guys. Let me take a sip of this lemonade, y'all. All right. Time to rock and roll here, guys. Let me bring the first video up. Oh, okay. We back to Kendra, y'all. We back to Kendra. Y'all ready? What's going on, Jermaine? From Cincy. Came through late. Nah, man, you're not late. You're on time. 
And if you late, there's always replay, gang, in your future. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's get cooking, guys. First video on tap here. Let's see what we got going on tonight, man. Turn the music off. What's going on, Rome? Ooh, what's going what's on? she doing? What the hell? Y'all see this? Ah! <laughs> Rebecca, where are you calling me from? Where? I can't hear you at all. Okay. Where'd she say she's from? I know why. Got audio problems? Can you hear me oh, now? Oh, yeah. We hear you now. Much better. Rebecca, where you live, babe? Where you calling us from? Um, Georgia. Ah, Atlanta, Rome. Area. You got the L, Rome. <laughs> 34. 34, what you do for a living? I'm a flight attendant. Oh, no. Flight attendant, you have any children? I have two boys. Two boys, flight. Two boys, how old are How old your boys? Are Ten and seven. Ten and seven. Ten and seven, both by the same man? Yes. Oh. You ever been married? Yes, they were by my ex-husband. Okay. When did you get divorced? Yeah, what happened with that? Uh, 2018. Okay. Um, you want to share why? You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, we were college sweethearts, but it was a lot of infidelity. And by the time we got out of college, I had to move on, level up to what I really wanted okay. in life. Not necessarily a relationship, but in life. Okay. So we have Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta, what? Area. Huh? The hell? The hell? <laughs> we got Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta, Area, 34, flight attendant, mom of two boys, was once married. What's your zodiac? Damn coming? zodiacs. I'm a cancer. Cancer. All right, boo. What kind of man you looking for? Let's get into it, y'all. Good man. Um, <laughs> a good man. I'm big on humor. I like somebody who has a good sense of humor, who's respectful, open minded. You know, can understand and take all kind of people to make the world go round. Um, family oriented, likes to have fun, but not in the street all the time. And really, the main thing why I'm single is somebody I feel like is gonna be a role model for my kids. So I'm not going to bring in a man around that I don't want them to emulate to some degree. This is the problem that I have already with single mothers. You're looking for a role model for your kids. Okay. She mentioned the top of the video that those infidelity issues with her ex, her ex-husband, why they got divorced. I get it, right? Women get tired of the your God cheating on you. You leave him, you break up, you move on. I get it. You you tired of being disrespected. But doesn't the kids have a daddy? And is their daddy not in their lives? Or are you the type of mother because the fact that y'all didn't work out, he can't see his kids either. Because why do, why is it that when you're looking for a new man, ladies, you're looking for a father figure or a mentor, things of that nature, when they already got a kid, right? No, I get it. When your new man comes in and let's say you do get married at stepdaddy season, if that actually happens to you guys, you know you got to fill that role. But from the jump street here, that should not be what you'd be looking for for a man here, right? They already got a mentor. They already got a daddy. So why is that the case here? See, we're talking about fellas here. They'll go ahead and divorce their husbands, whatever the case may be. He could be wrong. He could be doing dastly things, but he is still the daddy. So since he's still the daddy, why do you need a father figure? Why do you need a mentor for the kids? He's what he's what they're there for he helped create them that's his blood all right so let's continue let's get back to the video here but i find that very suspicious guys and also too this is why i don't want y'all sign up for stepdaddy season they got a daddy but they looking for a new daddy because they don't like him no more he cheated on her so she hates him now she hates his guts she don't want to deal with him so she wants a new nigga to come on through and 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 go ahead and replace that you technically can't replace it but he's going to be living with you full time if you get married You're like oh this is the, this is the new daddy this is the this is this is the upgrade when actuality let them kids bomb with they with their real father okay let's continue let's get back into it okay okay um what are your deal breakers what's going on mr walker Infidelity. Oh, sorry. Infidelity. I, when we're dating, you date who you want until we're exclusive. That's fine. But if we're exclusive, that's it. I'm monogamous. Um, hygiene. I'm big on hygiene. Like, what 
smell like? Do you keep yourself clean, your teeth not brown? I know everybody ain't got pearly whites, but let's keep brown away. Uh, <laughs> and just dry. I don't like dry people who just can't get along. Okay. Should he look a certain way? Looks. Um, clean. <laughs> Facial features in proportion. Um, if your hairline ain't right, shave it off. Commit to a hairstyle. <laughs> I'm 34. I prefer to date men my age or up to 45. So okay. I don't really want to go on the hair journey with no man right now. You know, where they want to start growing locks or start the baby dreads, the 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 braids with no hang. I'm no offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not starting my journey. Oh, I just, I'm, I'm three years in. <laughs> but I don't want yeah. you Have you dated a guy? I never heard this before. Have you dated a guy going through that? I live in Atlanta, so they all going through something. So let me get and this I know right you've here. seen the two pays now that men. Hold on, let me get this right here, y'all. She's basically saying she can find the guy she's looking for. But if you just start growing your hair out, fellas, if you start going to a lock game like me, she ain't checking for you. Like, do you see, like, these are the women we're talking about here, right? You can't make this up here. We're not talking about a guy who's cheating. We're not talking about a guy who's ugly. We're talking about a guy who says, I want to change my hair game up, right? I'm going to grow my hair. I'm going to start, you know, the baby locks. You know, that in-between phase. You know, you got to, you know, you got the first three months you can't wash your hair. You know what I'm saying? You got to get it done regularly. You know, you got to make sure your hair locks in. You know, that, that's why they call it the hair journey. Your lock journey. But what she's saying here is, yo, if you start growing your hair, I ain't rocking with you. You see what we're doing here, guys? You you could be the right person, but if you decide to change your hairstyle game up and you early in the process, I ain't rocking with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but women will go ahead and have wigs, weaves, and have every different hairstyle known to man chain. You see her bald-headed on Monday and hair down to her back on Friday. But you fellas, let you switch it up here. And if you're not already complete, cancel Christmas. And this is what we're talking about here. Women want guys at the finish line. They don't want to go through the journey. They don't want to work through him while he's building and growing. And if he's already building and growing, there's other things that he's working on. They don't want to deal with that here. It can be as something as him getting his career off the ground or even his hairstyle. They don't want the guy in the beginning or the middle. They want the finished product at the end. And here's the thing. You can like what you like and how your get down is. But if you want the end product there, if you want the finish line, it explains why your ass is single. Because other guys see this here and it's like, yo, you're only after a certain particular guy here. And you know what, though? We smell that a mile away. But let's continue, y'all. And where I just feel like be you. Commit to who you are and be happy and confident in that. That's another big thing, confidence. Um, the guys I do meet, I think, are always surprised that I'm single and assume that a lot of men approach me. And that's not the case. And I think it's because they are looking, thinking that. That is so many options to sit. It is dry here. <laughs> okay, wrong. Okay, um, do he gotta make a certain amount of money? He has to be comfortable with his lifestyle, his own level of success. You know, make a good living so he can support himself and also can afford to date. I guess it's Christmas I mean, we, we have time to grow and build together. So, okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Let's see what she working with, y'all. I'm sweating now too, y'all. Don't come for me. And okay. for him, it's kind of dark, but we can. We yeah, it really dark. Turn. Yeah, get your lights oh. on that dirty ass room. Okay. Now, if you guys notice, she's wearing all black. I know I'm wearing all black today, but that's just, you know, I got a uniform I'm doing here. But if you see what she's wearing all black here, it's concealing all her body right now. So she's got a little thickness, but a little chunkiness in this, in this game too as well. All right. So for me personally, not my cup of tea. My closet fell apart and I'm waiting on the handyman. Oh, your closet like fell apart. You're going to blame it on that. Say what? I like men that are handy also. Come help me fix it. 
Okay, better be able to fix some things. Mm-hmm. Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta area, 34 is a cancer flight. It's- right, Willie. Ain't no excuse for that room. You're going to try to blame it on a. He said, I need a handyman. Hold on, let me go back up here. You're going to try to blame it. Say, I need a handyman. If you're going to call Kendra, why don't you do it on a better room? These women have no wherewithal whatsoever, right? They don't care if it's a dirty ass room. They don't care if they're out here in the streets. They don't care how they're moving in a bathroom that looks janky as hell. We seen big girls that barely can fit in the bathroom they have no wherewithal whatsoever on how they're looking when they come on camera it's like it is what it is everything will be everything eyes all right and we guys see this dirty ass room be like yo just because your closet broke don't mean your room gotta be dirty how, you you tell me you can't fold those clothes up and then put them all to the side there Hey, man. Hey, come on, man. Shots, my man, Willie Walker, Mr. Walker in the building. This is the first holla of today's show. So I just want to take a pause for a second. Hey, guys, y'all could do the same thing, too, as well, and keep this green place passing. My man's here with a $5 holla saying, salute, brother Dave. <laughs> salute to you, brother. Salute to motherfucking you. My man, Mr. Walker in the building, single by choices. Killing it also on YouTube. Hey, brother Salu, thank you for the holla. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you on the first super of the night, guys. First super, guys. I love it when you make the chat turn colors. Okay. Appreciate you, brother. I know y'all working hard over there on single by choices. Keep doing them things, man. Keep working that channel and keep grinding, man. Good to see you, man. I appreciate that holla. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Had to get that out the way. Rome says, ma'am, what the F is going on with that home? That room dirty. Hell yeah, man. What's going on, Kareem? Kareem's in the building. Mr. Walker also says that's unacceptable. Hell yeah. Rome's is like, gang of roaches in that room chilling in 50 spots. God dizzle. Close out, wrinkle like hell now, nah, fold it and run. She got mustard curtains. I know she didn't dust her ceiling for either. Hey, man. You, hey, man. It is what it is, man. That's what we're talking about here. Like, you don't think guys see this here? You think guys don't care? Now, the Pookies and Ray Rays and the Dusty Darrows, they'll go ahead and clap those cheeks. They don't care how dirty your room is, but I'm assuming the fact that you're saying you don't want no liars, you want someone to be a role model for your kids, you're looking for something serious. If you're looking for something serious, take your ass to another room that's clean. Man, let's go ahead and continue. Let's get back to it. Right, attendant. Mama, two boys, 10 and 7, by her ex-husband. Right, your boys are by your ex-husband? When was your last relationship? My ex-husband. Really? And then when did you get divorced? 2018. Oh, y'all are messing around okay, after you got divorced? Six years ago? Yep. I, we uh-huh. don't date, but no relationship since then. Been focusing on my kids' career. Just being a better me. Okay. Damn, her toilet dirty. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Buns Glaze. Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Are you on a celibacy journey? Um... Not particularly. It's just like I said, I haven't been in a committed relationship since my marriage. And it's just draining to be having sex with someone you're not committed to. Situationships. So I just decided until I'm serious with someone, I'll just wait. Okay. We got some questions for you. All right. Kay said, wait, why ain't the kids dad their role model? Are you blocking their father's birthright? Why put that on another man? Exactly. Well, they see their father regularly. Past his weekends. However, if I have a serious man in my life, he'll probably be around more. And as the woman in their life, I feel like I'm setting an example for the type of men that they're going to want to be like. And then regardless, their father is not going to be their only role model. Nobody's parents are their only role models. So I just want to make sure I have a, you know, a good man around. You can have a good man around, but the first point of business here, when I hear that, no, no, no. Yes, he he has his visits. He's the father. He's the role model. If you ask any man that question, be like, if you starting to date, he ain't going to be around the kids right away. How are you going you gonna to start dating here? Let's say you do find someone. You're going to bring this man around the kids right away? You're going to bring him in the house? You're going to start having them call you, having them call him daddy. You want him taking, having him taking the kids out to McDonald's. See, they're, she, the way she don't understand it, but the way that she word it sound like she is trying to fast forward that saying this guy's going to be around more. No, even though they, he, he eventually down the line, if you do get remarried and that you have someone, then of course, 
It should be 50-50 and split unless we have a situation with the Cuddy situation. The stepdaddy should not be seeing the kids more than the actual daddy. <laughs> Okay, especially right now when you ain't even found that man. The role model is their daddy. Their daddy is their daddy and is their daddy. Okay, when you find a new man that is your new man, and then you figure out how you work to navigate the relationship. Does he like kids? Does he not like kids? Hopefully he does. And then eventually, slowly but surely, he grows to get the know the kids. But as far as you saying off off the back, he's got to be a role model. No, he needs. You need to figure out can he be a good companion for you first, and then as you build on that, well, you know if he likes kids, will he be a good stepfather not off the rip will he be a good role model and that's what goes on here why situations don't work you having this guy come in here and then you want stepdaddy to be the real daddy make it make sense y'all make it make sense okay l double i said do you want more children yes with my husband what's your husband so you want to get married again Right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> so you don't have to answer. Oh, you told me two years ago. Three flaws we have to work on. Okay. She's going to give some good flaws. So um, I don't like to argue. I tend to avoid conflict, but it's becoming apparent. That it's really because I kind of have a temper. Like if I just like you trying me, it's going to go from this to me popping off. So I got to work on that. Oh, I don't Lord. Like, I don't want to be. Zero to one hundred, real quick. Controlled by people's actions. Um, I'm a serial multitasker, and while that's good, it kind of keeps you from being able to really focus on one thing at a time. So I really got to work on that. Not trying to multi everything because I like to like read a book and watch TV. <laughs> okay. Um, three. I'm trying to think something not superficial. I would say staying away from carbs, but that ain't enough. Uh, third flaw. Good point, Rob. I can come off nonchalant when I'm dating. And I think, honestly, it's because I am very sensitive and emotional, I try not to lead with that. So I'll hold back a little bit, and the other person might get the feeling that I'm just not that interested, but I'm just trying to take my time to react. But not leading with the most being vulnerable not so nonchalant okay okay so we got rebecca um georgia atlanta area 34 what's the age range you would date sherry said that um, you asked me that yeah we thought uh, that i'm gonna be let me tell you that, though, i said 34 to 45 at least 30. okay mature and they're younger than me but okay um did i ask you if he has to be in atlanta I did, right? In Atlanta. Like, I travel for work, so that's... Okay. And I don't think I asked you the last question. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm loving, I'm loyal. I'm the kind of person that I like to, like, pay very close attention to the people I'm with so that I know how to cater to you. Um, Wait a minute. I'm pausing that there. How are you going to say that when you literally say you had a flaw that when you date people, you nonchalant so it makes it seem like you're not really interested in the person in the beginning? <laughs> you said, guys, I ain't watched this video before, okay? You said, I coughed that right away. I'm listening intently here. How are you going to say that line just now when you literally just said your, your last flaws, well, I'd be nonchalant at times so make it seem like I'm not interested, but I'm just trying to figure the situation out. How are you going to say that now than what you just said that Oh my God, guys! <laughs> the math ain't math, and Larry. <laughs> Yo, this is what we're talking about. You talk about here. We hear the words that's coming out of your mouth, and it's not adding up. When it comes to your fa- ex husband, who was the father of your kids, and then now you're talking this here. There's many more things, but we just haven't got into it yet because of the short video. I'm big on accountability. I have no problem with being wrong. So. If there's an issue that you want to bring up, I'm like I'm willing to listen. I do talk a lot, but I like to conversate. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like I feel like I'm a team player. You know, I'm gonna do what it takes to make our team work. Everybody play their position. I'm big on gender roles for the people who like that. You know, I think of myself as a lady. I cook. I clean. 
you cook and clean, but you showing us, but your ass don't clean. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, I did not watch this. I, this is my first time. Why are you? T- why is your actions different than the words that's coming out of your mouth? And then the words are coming out of your mouth ain't the same as the previous words coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Come on. How are you going to talk about? I'm in the gender roles. I cook and I clean. And then the room that you show us is a dirty ass room. <laughs> We can't make this up here, y'all. I'm cracking up right now. I, I, I'm, in, I'm on the gender roles. I cook and I clean. I cater to my man. And meanwhile, in the back, in the background there, I see 15 sweaters. I see wrinkled up T-shirts. I see mismatched socks on the floor. I see, well, my closet broke down. You could have straightened the mess out. <laughs> oh, come on now. Let's continue. I decorate. I'm affectionate. You decorate dirty. All the moms love me. (laughs) Okay, okay. Let's do it. We got Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta area, 34, cancer, flight attendant, mom of two boys. How could the guy reach out to you, boo? So I put it right here on the screen. That's my IG. Too good to lose? Too good to lose on Instagram. Rebecca at too good to lose. All right, baby girl. Will you keep me posted how it goes, honey? Thank you. And I... Thank you so much. I'm so glad I came on here. I almost didn't because I was scared of them comments, but I thank you. I love your platform and everything you do, and I hope I can update you with. So. I hope you do too. <laughs> give me, give me post simple. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, bye, baby girl. Okay, that's the end of the first video. That's the warm up, guys. Dick Nanny gets round number one. <laughs> We just getting started. We getting cooking here. What do y'all say in the chat here? Said so those are some ugly curtains. Hey, Sheila, look like some curtains from the eighties or seventies for real. You know what I'm saying? Need to be updated. You, you ain't lying, girl. You ain't lying. De- what are you saying here, Divine? Well, hold on. Let me scroll back up here. Divine said this here. You should have cleaned your crib before you got on Kendra. None of these women do that, Divine. I, I, this was what killed me about dating today. And there's a reason why so many women are single. Not just because they may be single baby mamas, not just because that they may be a few pounds overweight, not only because they attitude and what they talk and things of that nature. The pure presentation is off with women these days. Am I right or wrong, guys? The pure presentation. And what do I mean by presentation? If you're going to be online because, you know, technology, internet, webcam, TV, all these dating shows, YouTube, people can call in from anywhere from your cell phone, your tablet, whatever, right? So your presentation is you're letting us in your house without even us knowing we're in your house. When you, like, I'm letting you in my house right now. As you guys can see here, right? This is part of my basement. This is my studio here that I that I'm in. I'm I'm inviting you in to my domicile here, my YouTube home here. Even though my YouTube home is also my entire home. So when guys see what you working with here, it's like, yo, we not even together, and you got a dirty ass room. You know what I'm saying? You how many times we've done videos and we seen girls with dirty ass spots? Like there was one video I did. The girl was out of town on vacation and looked like she had been there for three weeks with clothes everywhere. It's like, how the hell you get a hotel room so goddamn dirty, so goddamn fast? <laughs> like that is something that I would look at if I was out here single. If I was actually trying to look for a woman, I was actually checking out these dating shows here. And if I saw this background, I'm not even going to check your IG. I've seen enough from your room right now. Like, if your room likes this, imagine what her car looks like. The inside of her car. Guys, have you seen women's cars? How dirty they be and how filthy women's cars be? Hey, come on, man. And you know she got kids, too? So you know how filthy her car is. See, I'm already projecting just by already knowing how it's going to work here. If your bedroom looked like this here, your car is dirty as sin right now. And then if your bedroom looked like this and I know your car is dirty, I bet you every part of your house is not looking up to par. And just like Sheila said, if you got draperies looking like that here, then the whole house is out of date here. And we know you just need some work in general here. (laughs) <laughs> Rome says, I work 70 hours a week. I come home and it looked like that is a wrap. You ain't lying, man. You ain't lying, man. What's going on, Shantae? What it do to you? Vince says, she says she can cook what happened to the 360. Hey, man, I know. Larry says, she can't crack an egg open. Man, that's crazy. So 
I just find it how she said that she's looking for a male role model, even though the kid's got a daddy. And see, that's the fucked up mentality with the, the single moms these days. If the kids already have a father, I don't care how bad the breakup was. I don't care if the man put hands on you. I don't care if the man cheated on you. I don't care if the man yelled at you. As long as this man did not do anything in front of the kids, his relationship with you as the mother is a totally different relationship as him being the daddy and the father of the kids here. Just because you two don't work out don't mean that he can't be a great father and a great provider. See, and that is the thing that women convolute here when we get into his dating spaces here because the fact that they didn't work out with the man then it's like i gotta find someone else for these kids here the fact you say now i'm looking for a role model for the kids here that was the biggest red flag there is no you should not be looking for a role model and a stepdaddy for your kids here you should be looking for a good quality man to try to date and see as time goes on is this something you want to rock with and then rock with is someone your kids can rock with here but it's not someone to replace the kids they already have a role model i know people say it takes a village but here's the thing that's their daddy let the man be a man and raise his kids. Stop trying to incorporate the second man and the third man. And this is what we got going on here. And then you know this one happens here. Men coming in and out of the house. And then you seeing kids when they grow up saying, yeah, mama has several boyfriends growing up. She has several dudes coming in and out. And that changed the psyche of kids too as well. We had a daddy, but mama kept bringing dudes in and out here. In and out. Lord have mercy. What's going on, Bishop? Unfortunately, a lot of women will find out the hard way. Nature's undefeated. Facts, man. Facts. You know, but so many women are moving this way here and they're wondering why they're not getting the results they're looking for. I literally just saw a clip with Jamil Hill talking to Lala Anthony, right? And Lala Anthony has been heavy, you know, as far as social media talking the last couple of years that, you know, since she's been divorced from Carmelo and now that she's post 40, she can't find guys 40 years old to check for. It's always the young dudes, right? And the reason why I'm saying this here is the fact that the older these women are getting, especially when they're single mothers, the thinking is, is not the same. It's really warped. And you wondering why guys are not checking for this here because we're not stupid. Now, a lot of you don't got to worry about trying to take care of her kids because Carmelo's the daddy, okay? Carmelo Anthony's a future Hall of Famer, top 75 player of all time, so money ain't going to be a thing. But what about the women who think they're on Lala's level, but they work at some regular job making $35,000, $40,000 a year? That's the point I'm saying here. Women are comparing themselves to their celebrity counterparts here, thinking they're the same when celebrity dumb is different than regular dumb. OK, so women got to understand you cannot replace the daddy it, just because the relationship did not work out between y'all two doesn't mean that he can't have a great relationship being the father to the kids. Man, that's right. Divine, no to single mothers. Here's the thing I say here. It, it's, it's a fine line because I know that there's guys here who are single fathers and they're looking to date. And they actually looking for women who do have kids. Now, I'm not in that mode. I, I, that's not my mentality. I can't think that way, right? If I was actually be out here single in these streets here and I do have a daughter, I'm not looking for no, no kids. That's just my thing. And if, I'm, if I actually become available, I'm not looking for no kids there. But I know people who do, you know. So, But me personally, fellas, if you have the opportunity to find yourself a woman with no kids, do it. I'm not I'm not trying to dog y'all single mothers out here, but I'm just trying to, to say that y'all just have different expectations that is not in line with reality. You guys could find men if you guys just come down to earth. Lord have mercy. Peter Rose says this is the equivalent to the smoke detector. Shout out to KS. Facts, man. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Kareem in the building. What's going on, Kareem? Dropping that $4.99, $5 holla. Keeping that green in the chat, guys. I love it. We make the chat turn colors. Guys, keep them passing here, man. I need the help. I need the support, y'all. What you got, me, brother? One look at that room and a potential relationship turns into a hit and run. Man, who you talking? Hey, Kareem. Hey, brother. Salud. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you with that second super of the night, man. Thank you, brother. Hey, man. If I saw a room like that, the relationship ain't gonna last that long. Like, you don't even have the thought process to say, let me just throw these clothes into another room. I know you're not gonna fold them up. Just hide them. 
just so that when we see you online, it gives the idea of a clean room. Just lie to me for a few seconds. Throw all the clothes into a closet, and then when everything's done, you pull them out and fold them up later. Lie to me, ladies. Lie to me. But you know what, though? You, do, you don't have no no cares whatsoever you don't only care that you showing everything in that in that dirty ass room so man thank you kareem appreciate you man rome says la la clean the house <laughs> right yeah she got maids rome yeah she she do you know la la ain't paying on the la la ain't cleaning her own house here yeah, she working on BMF right now. She getting her cheeks clapped on her on Friday nights. Okay, she ain't got time to clean her house right now. Carmelo still paying for maids over there, man. <laughs> Rome said, "Thank you again, Kareem. Appreciate you, man." Hey, Rome says in Atlanta, you see they are dirty in some way. Just go ahead and head home. That box may, will be rancid. Hey, man, that's wild. Hey, hey, Rome, it's not just Atlanta. These are women today. You will see the same thing here in Chicago. You will see the same thing in New York. You will see the same thing in Houston. You will see the same thing in California. You will see the same thing in Florida. You will see it. Text, it don't matter. This age group of women, it don't, I mean, I get it. You in Atlanta, you probably see it more often. You, you're used to that. I'm just saying, brother, it don't matter where you're going to go. This age group of women you're going to find that in every major metropolitan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Sheila. Ain't no way I can say that because I experienced that when I was in my single days here in the shot. Okay? You would be shocked to see, and there's only a few women that I ran to I actually had a clean crib. I was like, God, Dizzle, you see what they, when they come over, it's like, man. There, there, there was a reason why I got to a point before I got out the game. Like, when if I was talking to you, you didn't come to my house, and I didn't go to your house. I would get a hotel every single time because I didn't trust you had a dirty crib. And now on me, though, that was just delaying the inevitable because you go to a nice hotel, but then when you finally go to the crib, you're like, you waste all this damn time. But I just didn't want the wool pull up my eye so soon. <laughs> Hey, shout out to MOP in the building. What's going on, MOP? Dropping the $2 holla, keeping that blue in the chat here. Keep the blue place passing on this Wednesday evening, man, saying, baby mamas who think like this, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, MOP. I dig it. I dig it. Drizzle, drizzle. Hey, brother. Salute. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you with the Superman. Hey, man, we about to cook, keep cooking here, M.O.P. Y'all ready for the next video? Press one. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle, M.O.P. Drizzle, drizzle. Uh, <laughs> Larry says, I'm a neat freak. I don't blame you, Larry. Sure, you a, you a career bachelor, Larry. Sure, I don't blame you, man. Sure, you know where everything is at. You know, you, you don't want things messed around like that, Larry. I know how you'll get down this, brother. <laughs> yeah, man, I hear you. I hear you. Let's get ready for this next video here. Let me do that there. They better find Moist Watkins. Hey, come on, MOP. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, let's, we're about to get cooking here. Mm. All right, guys. Y'all ready for video number two? We're moving kind of fast here right now. I didn't long stroke, y'all. We're already moving on here. So, hey. For the replay gang, for the Ninja Watchers, we're keeping it going here. Video number two. Who we got on deck here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think it's part of the thumbnail, y'all. I think it's part of the thumbnail, y'all. Time to cook. Let's go. Yeah. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Yes. You can hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. All right. Hi, Shay. Hey. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I was just glad that I was about to go to sleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's your name, Shay? Where you calling me from, Shay? Detroit, Michigan. Mi Detroit, how old are you? Detroit. Who, man? 34 or 35. Hey, I can't what the hell? Okay. Oh my God. What the hell is going on with you? All right, let's try it. Come on. Shay, 34, where are you calling me from? Detroit, Michigan. I'm sorry. I had a response to a text. I apologize. Shay, Detroit, Michigan. Um, 34, what's your zodiac? Damn, zodiacs. 
Sagittarius. 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 Do you have any children? Two. Two kids. Two kids. Um, and how old are your kids? Um, thirteen and six. Whoa. And six. Okay. Okay, thirteen and six. Both by the same man? No. Two. No. Two men. Have you ever been married? No. No. And um, what do you do for a living, Shay? Um in Detroit. So it's like base. What do you do? Come on. Wait, we lost Say your volume. Why? Your volume went out. Automotive industry. Automotive. So plant base. I don't know what this. Automotive. You don't know what you do? I'll just say the automotive industry. Yeah. All right. So we got Shay, 34, Sagittarius, Detroit, Michigan, works in the automotive industry. Mom of two kids, by two men, never married. What kind of woman are you looking for? Let's get into it, y'all. Woman. I'm sorry. Yeah. What kind of man are you looking for? That's my apology. <laughs> what kind of man are you looking for? Oh, my God. Okay. So it's kind Come of on. weird because... I'm looking for someone with Come on. Ready to get married and things like that. Like I was Your phone's going in and out, Shay. What the hell we got going on here? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Sorry. Oh. What's going on, Anthony? Okay. What brain kind of man freezing. You looking for? I'm looking for a man that's um like ready to get married and be in a relationship. Okay. I was in a relationship with um someone in prison what? for like three years. <laughs> and I did, like, he just got out and he's not producing what he said he was. So I'm kind of stuck between the walk and the hard place. Tribe, hold on. Let me go to the big box. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many times I tell you guys, if you've been following me long enough, one of my guilty pleasures is what two TV shows, guys? <clears throat> Excuse me, what two TV shows are my guilty pleasures? Love during lockup and love after lockup. How many times I tell you guys when I watch the show, love during lockup, they follow and chronicle the relationships when you see the dude or the woman in prison and the person, the man or woman on the outside. And then they follow that for a whole season with several couples. And then the next show, they'll come back the next season with love after lockup, depending on the circumstances, and they get out, they're on parole, and they follow these relationships once they get out of pr prison or jail, right? What always happens if you watch this show, nobody in their right mind will ever, ever, ever date a goddamn jailbird unless you got a mental motherfucking problem, okay? The people in jail, doesn't matter if they are a man or a woman, they talking to 15 to 20 different people. You know why? They in lockdown. They can't physically touch them. They can't see them. They can go on dates. They go have some people come on the books. They come visit them to where, where they're at. And they might live pretty far, people they talking to. So they're talking to multiple people all the time, get trying to get their time passed through, right? While they're talking to multiple people, then they're putting a hierarchy. Who's number one? Who's number two? Who's number three? Who they want to, when they get out of jail, out of prison, who they going to rock with? But even though they may make, they, they get their pigeons in a, in a duck in an order and they pick who's one, two, three, four, five, whatever case may be. As soon as they get out of jail, they be, everybody be acting all kinds of funky style ways, right? They ain't moving the way they do. If it's a pookie, yeah, he going to talk a big game, how he's going to take care of the family and get a job. And next, you know, four or five months later, the Nigga still, or, or the white dude, the white mics of the world too. They still doing pookie things, right? And then when the pookishas, they got multiple dudes out there getting the cliff check and pitting men against other men here. So the fact that she told us that she was dating a dude in prison and then he came home and he ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing, it just tells me that A, you got a couple of goddamn screw loose in your head. And then B, he's only doing what jailbirds do when they get out of prison. They're exercising their options. They, he was talking to you and you're talking to other women. And that's how he was moving. So we're going to get back to playing this video here. But right off the rip here, I don't care what anybody says. Any person 
man or a woman that is talking to someone in lockup in prison and waiting for them to come home, you got some screws loose. You uh you are not right up here. You're not playing for full deck. Your elevator don't go all the way to the top floor. Okay, right, Rome. Finella's finesse the game. Think about it. Fel hey, Rome. You are a lawyer. You should probably know and just have some interaction with people you may have represented or be on the opposite side of the court case whatsoever or just any regular dealings in court cases and you see them in and out, things of that nature. When they're in jail, all they got time to do is think about getting out and then working on finessing. OK, if you don't got a guy saying I messed up, I need to get my life back in order. But the other cats in the game here who go in the jail, man, all they got to do is time to figure out how to run their next scam, how to run their next caper, how they can pull the wool over somebody's eye, how they can go ahead and do the goddamn come up. So let's get back to the video here. Let's see what she going to say here. The fact that she was out here dating a dude in prison. And then now that he's home, he ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing. And you in a rock in a hard place. No, you just, I don't care. You could be a woman or you're a man in the same situation. I'm going to say it. And when I watched that TV show on Friday night, I said the same thing when I'm talking to my TV. All y'all a bunch of dumbasses. Let's continue. Was he one of your kids' dads? No. He ain't been the kids' daddies. <laughs> no. What? So you, you met him while he was in prison? Yes. And y'all decided to date for three years? Yes. And when did he get out? He got out November of last year. Four and months. And what happened once he got Four out? Four or five months. He got out. Like, once he got out, it was all, like, roses and stuff. You know, how butterflies. We of just meeting for the first time and everything. Yeah, he had to see some booty. Like, it was all good. Like, yeah, everything was good. Yeah. And then it's like he got out, and then everything was out. <laughs> everything so how long went down. Went to the of course, he just got home. He ain't seen cheeks in a minute. I mean, he's seen cheeks, but he's seen man cheeks. <laughs> he he's on the Diddy level when you in jail here. So of course, when he gets out of jail, it's gonna be no Diddy. He get the feel an actual real female booty. He ain't trying to go ahead and protect his booty from virgin ass status from the dude trying to take it from him. So of course, when he comes home, yes, I got a woman lined up. I don't got no one trying to take my booty ass here. Oh, it's on and popping. And they know it though. Once you get home for a week and you realize who you're talking to, you're like, yo, I got options now. I'm home, baby. I'm home now. And you know what's also? His options are the other chicks that he was talking to while he was talking to her. Okay? Man, come on. After he got out, um, like how long before it went south? Okay. He got out November. His out date was November 3rd. He was gone to November. So I met him. I flew down there. I flew down. I mean, it was not even in he out of the state. No, it was out of state. Oh! How did you meet him in prison? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, just, we just met on Facebook. Prison? They got Facebook in prison? Yes, they got a lot in, in prison. Okay. Rome could probably get into this because he's a lawyer. What's going on, T. Lee? In prison... These guys have access to the internet. They're downtime. They got computer labs. They can go ahead and send emails and do all kinds of stuff. And even now, depending on how OG status you are, you're able to sneak phones in the prison. The contraband. These guys got phones with full-fledged Wi-Fi status and digital plans and everything. So they over here are making phone calls at certain times. They over here chatting on Facebook, got profiles, all the stuff like that. So guys, the old school days of prison, back in the day, they just writing pen pals and letters, stuff like that, that's the days of the past. Nah, they can actually get online, they could be in the regular computer lab, and they be talking, they, and when in the computer lab, they send a gang of messages to all the women they talking to. But then if they actually been in there long enough, and they OG status, and the prison guards don't care because how long they've been in there, as long as they can seal the phone, they on their phone, charged up, and they talking to women as well all day, every day. So just letting y'all know, these dudes have the access to talk throughout the entire day. There's there's a new episode of Love uh, Love During Lockup that's going to come up on Friday. The, the woman has security cameras, like the security for your internet service like that, have the cameras in her house here, and the dude had a cell phone in, the, in, in jail, and he has access to see all the cameras in the girl's house. 
Okay, so yeah, man. So the fact that what she's saying here is like everything was all cool, then he switched up here. Yeah, these guys got access to the internet, and then basically is he was just making love in the phone because she was the easy win until he got in until he got home. Let's continue. In prison. Like so y'all met on Facebook and you knew he was in prison. I didn't at first, but then after we got after we started talking, then he let me know that he was in prison. So, yeah. And you guys were in a committed relationship? No, not when no. we first started talking. Say again? I said no, not when we first started talking. He didn't let me know. No, but I'm asking you, while, so you were in a committed relationship with him for three years for you to talk to another man? Oh. No. No. Did you meet him? Did you go visit him while he was in prison? No. What? So you were committed? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I talked to him like, you know, phone calls, video calls, like we was on the phone like 24/7 on the phone every day. Like he had I got to pause here. Shout out to T Lee. Six, if a woman likes men in prison, they can have her. Facts, man. <laughs> hey, and Larry says I don't believe her. Big box. Larry, I believe her. Larry, there's a reason why I went on my diatribe to talk about love after lockup and love during lockup, okay? Do me a favor. Friday night, check it on your TV right now. We TV, what she's saying right now, you're going to see two stories on this on Friday nights. That's what I'm telling you, Larry. There is dumbass women out here who move like this with dudes in prison. I believe her because I've been watching this show for three or four years right now, right? This is real. This happens, Larry. This is a serious situation that women like this who don't even meet the people in jail and they'll be committed for them for these the, the, the time they're locked down just by doing FaceTime visits and talking through text by the contraband phones. Hey, Larry, I'm telling you, I'm putting you on game right now. This is as real as a heart attack and it's goddamn sad. Let's go back and continue now. He had a phone. Why couldn't you visit him in prison? I'm in Detroit and he's in um he was in Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta, Rome. Yo, that could have won Rome. Rome, he's where you at. No. You, you probably locked him up, Rome. And you didn't want to date anybody else while for that three years? No. Wow. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. In these three years, she lived in Detroit, he's in Atlanta, and she did not even want to date anybody else. Wow, this dude's wordplay game has got to be impeccable. Okay, so now he got out, and you guys mm -hmm. met in person for the first time. Mm -hmm. And when did things change? I think it's after he got out, and um, because he did fifteen years. Fifteen years. <laughs> So I'm thinking like he got out and he got a taste of like the outside world. Absolutely. Of course, he's home. He was gone to November. Said what? I said, absolutely. If he's been locked up for 15 years, you know. Right. right. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Like he got so he out. Want, so was it his call? He doesn't want to be in a committed relationship anymore? He still said he do. Okay, but you're ready to move on. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. So now you want a man that's ready to get married. Yes. Okay. 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 This is a lot. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to understand. And so, I'm from a different country and stuff like that. So is what very the country? Weird. We talking about? They will. What? Okay. What are your? Did you? Did I ask you your deal breakers? Wow, y'all. No. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers are um She's always confused, Larry. Oh, oh everybody say the same thing. So I wouldn't say a liar because I could I've been dealing with liars my whole life, so I could deal with that. You can be uh people who can't communicate. Like don't communicate with me. Like, don't tell me or don't talk to me. That would be that's number one communication. 
communicate with me. Let me know how you feeling. Let me know what you thinking and things like that. Two is procrastination because I do procrastinate a lot. So I would say procrastination. Um, another thing is being on time for stuff. Oh, you late all the damn time. time. Wait, I skipped. That was your, what me, oh, what? the things. What'd you just answer? I asked you the three flaws. No, exactly. Just, yeah, no. you did skip a few because I watch you all the time. So you skipped yeah, a few. Right? How did I get there? I don't even know how I, <laughs> did I ask you that question? Okay, I didn't mean to. Did I, no, yeah. I think I asked you your deal breakers. Yeah, you did. Okay. All right. Does he have to look a certain way? Looks. Yes. Oh. Attractive. Why I would like for him to be. Stop playing with your hair. It's not I yours. Like a beard. So I like the guy with a beard. I love a beard. A full beard. Like all this. A full beard. Hey, Roma, put this on me, man. She in okay. Detroit. Taller than me. I'm about 5'2". So as long as you taller than me, you don't got to be six feet. But just be taller than me. Okay. And, and oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. And I don't mind the size because I don't have big and small. So either or is okay. And be attractive. Good teeth. I like the teeth. Okay. All right. Um, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Money. Okay. Let's get to the money. Money, money. should be an issue. So I'm from Detroit. I'm not, I ain't rich or nothing. So I don't, I don't got a lot of money myself. So if you make a lease about 50, 60, and we could work together and come together and we could get it bigger, man, I'm cool with that. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I want to stop you right now. How the hell are you going to be worried about money when you was with a jail bill for three years? That means that he was, what's the word I want to say? He was uh, a guest of the state. So since he was a guest of the state for 15 years, he wasn't making no money. So for you, money shouldn't be a problem because you had no problem waiting three years for this dusty Negro. All right. And let's say this dusty Negro gets his act again and says, hey, baby girl, I know I'm in Atlanta. You in Detroit. But I want to be together. Let's make this work. I'm sorry, boo. I didn't mean to cheat on you. She going to let that dude come to Detroit so fast, quick in a hurry, man. <laughs> Stop playing with me some more 50, 60,000 when she was all cool with broke Pookie fresh out of the joint. All right, come on, man. Make up your mind here, right? Pookie ain't making no money, or you want an average earner here. What is it going to be? You want jailbird Pookie or average Negro? You can't get both, okay? You can't get both. I don't care what you make. As long as we happy together, we good. Okay. okay. I got this question for you. Little Double I said, would you date another man from prison? Oh. L Double I. Good question. Yeah, long as they ain't sending, long as they not selling me a drink, because I think the uh, my last, I ain't gonna even gonna say my last, but he was like, I was so like he had me so sink in, like I thought like he was gonna give me the world when he got out. How? I don't want to get emotional. He was fifteen years. I thought he, he was can't give me the, the world. world. I lost everything dealing with him. And then, how did you lose everything? Yeah, wait, wait, you put so much on his books. What'd you do? Oh, Lord, she's gonna cry, y'all. Oh, no, she's gonna cry. That's why. Okay, if you don't want to share it, you don't have to. Yeah, it's just like because I was just like, he was just like, when I get out, I got this, I got that, I got this, I got this to give you. He made me um, promise a lot of stuff, he promised me a lot of stuff. Like, he put it on souls and shit like that. So what? me being young and stuff, I'm thinking like, I don't know. This I don't know. So you will go no. through that experience again? Another man that you never met in prison? I would need more factual information besides words. How? I need action. He's so, a jailbird. But you know, I mean, if he's in prison, he probably, he only, he, what actions can he really show you, though, to be honest? Yeah, but I know people and um, other, I know people that had other experience, like. Wait, wait, 
Like, look at um. What? What? What's what? that show called? Oh no, no, don't. Tell they me. didn't in prison or whatever. Where they get love out? After and... lock up. <laughs> yeah, love after lock up. You know, like people like that, and they people get out. I, I, so I don't know the experiences of that show. I hear people talk about it in my. Con- I just brought it up, guys. I just talked about it. I told you I gave the broke down. Love during lockup and love after lockup. I want to tell you right now, <laughs> there is no happy ever after. Okay, it's a lot of unhappily ever. You whenever. <laughs> yo, yo. All I see is Pookies and Ray Rays and Dusty Daryls and White Mikes and Chads all saying the same thing, selling the dream. When I get home, baby, we're going to be a family. I'm going to take care of the kids. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to we're going to save this money. We're going to get a we're going to get a house. We're going to get a new car. You know what I'm saying? We're going to vacation. We're going to live this life, boo. We just just going to be me and you against the world. Wait till I get home, baby. The man's got me locked down. They had me on they they had their foot on my neck for 15 years, but when I get home, trust me, I got hopes. I got dreams, and you're going to be there with me and we're going to ride together. We're going to be Bonnie and Clyde. We're going to be a power couple. That's all they say. They talk all that good mess. Women too. Oh, baby, when I get home, I'm going to be the best woman for you. I'm going to cook and clean. I'm going to help you take care. I'm going to give you some babies. We're going to be good together. I'm going to be your ride or die. I got you, boo. I got you, boo. I got you, boo. (laughs) And you want to know something? The last season, right? The one dude came home and he was selling the whole wolf dream. Talk about he was making seventy-seven thousand dollars a year, and I was saying, how the hell he get a job seventy-seven thousand a year? And he ain't, he been he been locked up for nine years, right? And then after like nine months, he over here trying to buy a house he can't afford, bought a forty thousand dollar truck and things of this nature. He was just living high in the hog. Season two came to find out he ain't got no job. He was able to get all these credit cards because these credit cards knew he was out of jail and got a fresh social security number. So he went and got like fifteen credit cards, max all them bitches out, right? Then he borrowed money from a dude who was in jail with him who was out and threatened to kill his ass, and then now came to find out he was cheating on his girl with another dude being a bend-over buddy. His name wasn't Bob. His his friend was a bend-over buddy. <laughs> if you watch that show, you gotta know there's no happily ever after. There's a situation where the couple is actually together, right? They try to move to Vegas, but because he's on parole, he couldn't move to Vegas. His woman was pregnant, and next know they were homeless because he lied talking about we got the house, but he didn't get the house, and so now they stuck it in his limbo. It's man, all every time I watch this show, it is a goddamn train wreck of disaster upon disaster of the person who's actually home believing the wolf lies of the person in prison. Okay, so we're going to get back to the video, but there is no way in goddamn hell that she's going to say their success stories on love during lockup and love after lockup. It is basically love and hip hop, but the jail version. <laughs> Lord have mercy, man. Let's get back into it. She can't she can't say it's been success stories. I've been watching it for three years. Ain't been no success stories there, there's been situations where people are making it. They're making it work. It ain't no success stories. Ain't no love happily ever after. It's like, damn, we just we just trying to do it. We do what we gotta do here. You know what I'm saying? This is what we call here a woman who has severe mental problems. The fact that she would go down the route again to date somebody in prison. Okay, and you know why this? Ha- Get back to the video in one second. You know why women do this here, and why some guys do this here? Because they think in their heads by the person being locked up, they can't cheat on them because they physically can't be physically interactive with other people, including yourself. You know that when that person's in jail, they're living in a small cell. You know that they have limited time to do recreation. They have limited phone time. They're in the same spot every day, all day, forever how long their sentence is. So the people believe in their minds the fact that they're in prison, they're locked up, and they're with people of the same sex, that they can't be hurt because they're not messing with other people, not knowing that when they're talking to you as a pen pal online or emails and things of that nature or sneaking cell phones, they're doing the same thing to eight other people as well. And then when they come home, they're going to explore their options and see who's going to be the best person that's going to be able to care to them while they get back on their feet or scam their way to get back on their feet. 
So this is just a mental condition that people, especially women like her, tell herself saying, this guy's in prison. He can't hurt me because there's no other woman around. That's what they think. But you got to realize when they come home, the true colors come out. Let's get back into it. My comment section, but I've never seen an episode. Okay. But I didn't see plenty of people come out of there or watch that show and people come out and actually be about what they talk about. You know? Lies. The last season, the dude died. He he, lo he lied to his girlfriend. He he got home. He had sex with her. Then he snuck out. And then the girl couldn't find him for a week and a half. He had another woman. They broke up. Came to find out he was in the he was in the chase from the police. Got into a vicious car accident. And died. Stop lying here. They ain't about what they about here. You probably only watched one episode, and but then see the following two or three episodes when they end up breaking up. But my experience was not like that. He, they t talked a lot while they was in there, and then they got out, and then it's totally like I'm still stuck where I'm at, and still taking care of myself and my kids. You know? That is every episode. She ain't watched the show. That is every goddamn episode. Oh, huh? I got you. Okay, okay. Well, thank you for being vulnerable. I can tell this is sensitive for you. Are you? Do you think you're healed from this? No. So you still want to meet somebody while you're healing? Wow. Y'all hear it's possible. Huh? Y'all hear this, guys? Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Before we get to the cam here. This is what we're talking about, how relationships don't work because emotionally she's still stuck on Pookie. If, if Pookie got his act together, she'll take Pookie in a heartbeat right now. She will end the stream and run right over to Pookie and run into his arms here. This is what we're talking about here when that their feelings, their emotions is tied into another person who hurt them, but it's on your volition because you chose a jailbird here and then got the audacity they trying to get into another relationship when their mind, their heart, their body, and their soul is with somebody else. So guys, even if you were interested in her, she's never going to be there for you because her mind her soul her heart her emotions is still tied to pookie you see how she's crying you see how she's emotions you see how she's sobbing right now in this video yo no guy can come in and change this here only pookie can change this right now either she eliminates pookie out of her life or pookie get his act together if that don't happen and if you try to come in right now she is only going to be temporary because she's thinking about the other negro and not thinking about you Let's see what the Ken and Cam Kendra Cam is working with. Stand up. Well, I ain't got no big booty in it. Back up, please. Okay. Oh, you seem short, Shay. Yo, she got a big head and a small booty. I mean, small body. Look like she's a midget, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, man, she gives midget vibes to me. My bad, little people. Okay, does she does she give off like she's a midget or a little person here? I mean, come on, man. What what wrong? I'm just saying, nice shape but not bright. I mean, she, yeah, no neck, wanderer. I, I, I'm getting. She reminds me she's a midget. I mean, some of y'all may like little people. You know, you can do tricks. You can throw them in the air and everything like that. Ooh. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Tiny Terra says Arnold. What's going on, Arnold? Yeah, but come on, man. Let's let, let's 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 see more. I'm on five two. Five two. You're five two. Okay. So Shay, when was your last relationship? You're calling it this guy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, the last time was his birthday was March something, so like. Oh, March. you just stopped talking. His birthday in March. Uh -huh. She when said was that. His birthday. His. What? I can't hear. Wait, you. wait, you broke up. Oh, March third. March third. So when did y'all break up? Because March third was only a month ago. Right. Oh, like we not really broke up. Like he might see this and be like, "Oh my hey, god." What you doing over here? Okay. <laughs> They're not broke up. Watching my show, 
to date a girl that has a guy that just got out of prison. I don't want to date a girl though. Why you what guys? After everything that's going on, she's saying they're not broken up. She's trying to make him jealous. <laughs> she is coming on here and then hoping he's watching this because they probably talked about the Kendra show in the past. Or she's going to say, hey, you know I was on Kendra's show, and then going to go ahead and look for the live stream or look for the clip to make his ass jealous to try to see if that will get him to act right. This is toxic as a motherfucker, y'all. Women be doing this here. This is what we call a shit test, y'all. This is a classic shit test. You're not acting right, so I'm going to go over here and try to make you jealous to try to see if you will act right. But here's the thing, though. This doesn't phase Pookie. Pookie knows this is a shit test. Pookie knows he's in Atlanta and you in Detroit and you ain't going nowhere. He caught you crying on, on the stream here. You sobbing. You emotional. All she's doing is making it worse for herself here right now. He's going to see this and say, oh, I got her where I want her right now, okay? She ain't going to work. She even said she don't want another man anyway. She is trying to get me jealous so I can act right here. Oh, I got something for her. Come on, guys. Come on. Proverbs 31, 12 says she will do him good and not evil in the all the days of her life, says Bishop. What's going on, man? <laughs> you, you dropping scriptures on me here. She going to get somebody killed, says T. Lee facts man and pookie just got out of jail we don't know how this pookie is moving here he been on a jail for four months man you don't know if he got a jealous a streak in him probably does the reason why she's doing this here that's how guys get into fights and how guys go right back to jail she probably hoping he goes back to jail so she can go back to the original arrangement of their relationship where he's locked down, she's at home, and they go back being pen pals again. But she loves that because it's safe and secure for her because she know where he's in, locked up, and she's in the confines of her own home. She's probably hoping he gets jealous, catch a case, and goes back in for another year or two to violate his parole. Hey, man, this is a woman here that y'all got to be careful of. Not not her. I'm not saying y'all going to date her in this chat or the replay gang or your ninja watchers. I'm saying if you come across a woman who has this kind of mentality here, she will get y'all black asses in trouble. Anthony says, TND, call Bellevue for the chick. Hell yeah, man. I'm subscribed and I gave a thumbs up. I'll catch everyone later. Shout out to you, Bishop. Thank you. Let's get back to the video. Why you keep thinking I want a girl, Kendra? No, I said, I said this. You want a man watching my show to date a girl that has oh, okay. a guy that just got I don't have a You just say y'all not kind of broken up. Right. No, like we still in com we still communicate, but to me, we're yeah. not together. What the hell well, you are you just talking told me about? A second ago, you guys are kind of together. Yeah. Right? You haven't really broken up. Yeah. You just, like, You're not making no sense. No, you asked me the last time I had sex, which was... And then I said, when did y'all break up? And you said, well, we're not really broken up. He might see this and say, bitch, what you okay. doing? Right, um, exactly. I apologize. But you apologize. For which the one? last time, the last time I saw him was March for his birthday, okay? The, so when did y'all break up? We didn't break up. Like, it's not like we what, broke up. Or... What the hell is it then? You're not making no goddamn sense. So you want a man to date you knowing that you are dating a guy that just got out of prison after 15 years? Yeah. You don't think a man would be cautious? Well, yeah, they may. Yeah, they may. But if I break down, like, the whole relationship, like, I haven't talked to him. Like, he called me, like, once a week or once a month or whenever the fuck he feel like it. Like, it's not even... Guys, this kind of woman that gets y'all niggas shot. Okay? This the kind of woman that gets y'all niggas shot. Okay? She gonna get a new guy. The new guy's gonna be over one day. And then that's when homeboy gonna come home, gonna make a trip from Atlanta, Detroit, and show up. Daddy's home. Daddy's home, and then a fight's gonna ensue, and someone's gonna pull out the blicky, someone's gonna pull out the heater, and something's gonna go down here. Nah, guys, this is the kind of woman that gets got. Oh, the perfect example. I can't.
can't believe I'm reacting to this right now, guys. Hold on. Big box. Big box. We're out there in this video, but big box here. Before we finish off, I got to say this before I lose my thought here. I watched the show BMF. We were talking about Lala Anthony just a few moments ago, right? I, I, I have not watched this video. Y'all email me this video, but I watched the show BMF. In the latest episode that came on last Friday, Lala's character is dating T. T is the younger brother to Big Meech. Now, she's upset at T because he got already had a baby mama that just gave prep that just gave birth to his second kid. And so she's dating him knowing that he got a baby mama, right? And he goes back and forth, you know, because she, he got kids with baby mama. But when she left him one day, she had an old fling who was a police officer pulled her over and the dude gave her gave the number. So we ain't talking in a while. Hey, call me, right? Fast forward to the scene, Lala is hanging out at the bar. And then the cop shows up, say, hey, thanks for calling me. I'm glad to see you again. I can't, he's basically saying, I can't wait to clap these cheeks again. But then T shows up, right? And he's like, hey, dog, you got to step off. So the two men are going back and forth, right? And then if you see her character, she has this certain grin on her look here. She's loving it. She's enjoying it. She is getting off on the fact that her man T is jealous and about to fight an ex here who she's the fuck with here. I mean, it's not even me projecting. You can just watch the scene. And then once the dude leaves, she's like, yo, you know you being jealous gets my pussy wet. And then puts his hand in, in her crotch and it's like, yo, you're going to fuck me right now, right? What the whole point of that scene I'm saying here is women do this all the time with these shit tests. OK, you have a man who you who you're mad at, who ain't taking you serious, may got a baby mama who got kids. You ain't he ain't spending time you the way you want it to be. And so you go ahead and pull another nigga to make him jealous. And you want to see that conflict go on because you get off on that because it makes you wet. I'm telling you guys, this is something that women do when they ain't got their mind right. And this is the kind of woman y'all got to be careful for. And ladies, if you got friends like this, you need to ask them out of your friends group here because they're going to get your ass in trouble as well. Gloria says, he has been in jail for 15 years, equal jealous and mean streaks. She will get herself and him killed as well. That's why I'm bringing that up, Gloria. The fact that Pookie's been locked up for so long and the way he's moving, she is trying to create a shit test here. Let me get, I had to bring that up here because the fact that she said that here, fellas, this is the kind of woman that will create dynamics where you find yourself in a situation where that you want to walk away and sometimes you can't walk away because you stuck in a rock and a hard place here because of your association and the people you rock with. Let's get back into it here. Not even like we're not in a relationship, you know? I don't feel like we're in a relationship. Hey, what's going on, Derek? <sighs> That's weird. Well, it's there's a deal. I didn't know that you guys were still in contact. Um, you just had sex one a month ago. I think any logical man might have to be cautious because we don't know what this man went to prison for for 15 years. We don't know Felony. if he's super crazy over you. And if he saw you with another guy, if he would act a fool, like but I, I think know. if he if he was super yeah. crazy over me, would he be calling me every day? No, doing no, that? I mean, no. I'm talking that about that's that's one crazy. Then there's no. You see that there? If he's super crazy, wouldn't he be calling me? No. He lives in another state. He gets his cake and eat it too. He saw you for the birthday. He got the skins. He went back. Now, if you want to parade another man around, you're gonna see the real jealousy here. See, she it guys. This is murder waiting to happen. There's a jealous crazy, right? And let's say you're with a guy and he finds out, how would the guy know that this man isn't a jealous, crazy guy? Because you guys, you know, you told us this whole story. You're still emotionally connected. We can tell. We're in a whole different state. Doesn't matter. Okay, Shay. What? In a whole different state? Do you, do you, what did I ask you your three flaws, honey? Yes. What were they again? They were um, communication. God damn it. And um, being on time. You and late, you don't communicate well. 
I can't remember what the last one. It shouldn't remember. You can, you can come up with another one. All right, come up with another Why one. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, why are we asking this question, Kendra? We already we there is no lucky here. You might get killed dealing with her. When they get with me. What? They gotta find out when they get with you. Yeah. You hear that bullshit? Well, when they talk to me, shit. When they talk to you, they'll they'll learn. I get y'all super in a second. They'll learn. We got Shay, 34, Sagittarius, Detroit, Michigan. Do you want them to be in? No, you said you don't got to be in Detroit, right? No. Okay. Mine are two kids, 13 and 6. Do you want more kids? Yeah. Oh, okay. no. She don't need to be no oh, more than mama. In automotive. She don't need to be no more than mama again. Um, well, Shay, how could the guy reach out to you, honey? Facts, T. Lee. Um, Shay Curtis on Facebook or Instagram, I think is Sasha Curtis. Well, let's just use the one that you know. Shay Curtis on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Shay, you, you keep me posted how it goes, baby. Likewise. Thank All you, right. Kendra. You're welcome. Have a good Bye. One. You too. Bye, oh, baby. God. That. Let me get to this super. Shout out to Gloria. <sighs> Shout out to Gloria coming in here with the one ninety nine two dollars super sticker. We're going to give you that penny upgrade. We don't care here. It's just a super sticker. Check it out. Gloria ain't got no questions. She ain't got no comments. Hey, Gloria, you just here for the love of the game, yo. Appreciate you. Thank you, Gloria. Hey, Gloria, first things first. Salud. Thanks for the holler. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're right back at you with the super sticker. Thank you, Gloria. Appreciate you. I appreciate you for dropping that love on me. Y'all can follow suit too, guys. Super stickers, super chats, super thanks, whatever. Cash apps, show your love, guys. We've been here for almost two hours here, man. It's flying by fast here. Guys, okay, let, let's, I'm not going to take too long on this. I talked a lot already, and I, I like what T. Lee said. People are driven across the country in a jealous rage many times before. Y'all remember that woman? She was an astronaut. She was a white woman. She was an astronaut. She worked for NASA. And she drove across country in a race. She put on her astronaut gear so that she had those special diapers on so that she would have to stop to take bathroom breaks. She was pissing and shitting on herself, driving like 15 miles to go, to go find old buddy that she was messing around with. Okay? You got women putting on uh, NASA astronaut diapers so they don't gotta stop. She just pissing and shitting on herself the whole highway drive. I'm gonna get this dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy. Uh, he, 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 the, yo! For real! And then she over here acting all nonchalant, talking about, well, you know, he ain't calling me but once a week. I mean, we together, but we not together. And, you know, oh, my gosh, she is waffling all over the place. She is hither and tether, here and there, to and fro, far and there, back and yonder, and there and nether. Okay? That, yeah, she was white, and Arnold. I don't know if you remember that. I don't know if you guys remember that. The diaper lady. Yeah, y'all remember her? She, she, hey, she put on her NASA gear on and she drove like 15 miles, 15 hours nonstop. She was shitting and pissing and had Red Bulls just down the while she driving. I'm going to get this dude here. I'm going to find him. Mm, I'm not stopping. Damn a bathroom break here. Don't matter if she got constipated or diarrhea. She's letting that diaper catch everything and she's going knowing that car smells like shit. OK, and then she go ahead and go have a jail birth been locked up for 15 years, going to go on a show and then trying to get this dude jealous because you're looking for a new man. Hey, come on, man. She licked the windows. Hey, come on, Sheila. <laughs> she licked the windows. Hey, she went in orbit looking for that ninja. <laughs> Y'all remember that story, right? Y'all remember that one? Hey, so if you know that white women are out here doing this, can you imagine a dude in prison? Who might get into a jealous rage and be like, oh, oh, hell no. Nah. I know I ain't talked to you in a week or two, but you ain't giving my booty to anybody else. That's my booty. Okay. So, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, but real talk here. Guys, this is the kind of woman that you, you got to spot this a mile away. Right? You got to see this a mile away and knowing that take away the fact that she's dating a jailbird. Her mind state, her mentality means that she could potentially 
put you in situations that's going to put you in harm's way that you, if you're not paying attention, if you're asleep at the wheel, pun intended here, you're going to find yourself catching a case here. She's going to put you in a situation. There's going to be a dynamic that you can't even back out. And only thing you can do is fight your way out of it. There are situations where you say you can walk away from situations. This is the kind of woman that you're not going to be able to walk away. She's going to put you in a situation where you're going to have to fight your way out. And sometimes you fighting your way out could be life or death. OK, or just the mere fact that she is playing motherfucking games. What I mean by playing games is, yeah, Pookie ain't checking for her. Well, what the hell's going on, on my laptop here? One second. There we go. Sorry about that. I ain't trying to run no updates. Here's the thing here. She's over here playing games. Because Pookie ain't paying her attention, she's trying to bring another guy in so that that guy can get Pookie's attention. And then when Pookie gets jealous enough and then showcase how much he really loves her and go back to the prison days, she's going to run back to Pookie. You could be on your P's and Q's doing the right thing. And then if Pookie says, baby, my bad, I saw you this other ninja here and I don't want I want to be with you. She's going to cut you loose and go back to Pookie. You see, that's that. she's playing games right now. She's playing games. So y'all got to be careful with this. And like I said, one last point here before we get to the next video. Ladies, if y'all got any girlfriends like this, she's going to help y'all in y'all relationships. She's going to get y'all in trouble with y'all mans there or let alone you're going to try to be the, the friend trying to help her out. And then you're going to be in jail helping her ass out or trying to testify and shit like that. These are the kind of people, guys, whether you're dating them or if these are your friends, you got to cut loose. These people are not good for our health. They're not good for our benefit. All they're going to do is bring us down. When we, when you hear the age-old term, birds of a feather flock together, even if you're not moving like this, but you feel a certain compassion for her because she's your friend. You may say she got a bad rap in life. Eventually, these are the friends that's going to tear you down. They're going to put you in situations that you don't want to be in, and then next year, you know, you're going to find you me arguing with her saying, girl, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. And then next year, you know, y'all too fat battling and fighting out and came to find out that wasn't your, really your friend anyway. You know what I mean? She's just a disturbed person who over here is bringing everybody down. This is someone who needs true therapy. This is someone who needs to seek professional help. This is someone who needs to see a doctor to understand why she wants to date somebody in prison. Why is she longing for somebody who lives in another goddamn state that ain't even checking for her locally here? He's in Atlanta, you in Detroit here, and you're acting all emotional like this over a guy that you didn't meet for those three years. The time that he was in jail, he was already locked up for over 10 plus years, over 12 years. Then you're talking to him for three years in prison. You don't even visit him. You don't go down to Atlanta to be on his book. You probably put money on his books, but you ain't going there for visitation to hang out for a weekend to go see him, to see him actually in person. And then when he gets out, you want to act all funny style way because he ain't showing you the kind of attention. And you're wondering why he's moving the way he's moving. You didn't even know him. You were in love with the idea of him that you put in your head. Did y'all catch that? She was, she was, she's in love with this dude here. Here's the thing though. She was never in love with this guy. She was in love with the idea that she created for herself about him when he would get out. So the person that she created in her head is not the same person who he actually is. Man, oh man. Her name was Lisa Nowak. Thank you, Arnold. Appreciate that. Yeah, she going to get you deleted. She belongs to him. Yeah. She was talking about fit and making 60K. Right, Rome. She going to try to. This is what we're talking about, how women will go ahead and tax the good guy later. But the guy currently is over here ripping all the benefits for free. She wants a guy talking about 50, 60,000 early that like that. But this dude was in jail for 15 years. Name a person who's been locked in for 15 years is going to come out and, and going to make immediately $60,000 a year. There's a process of you getting home, getting acclimated, you know, working with your PO, just getting adjusted from prison life to actually out back in the real world because you've been locked in for 15 years. And then trying to find a job, whatever skills that you have here. 15 years, a lot of time capacity you could be learning getting into the books but you don't have real world experience and a lot of times jobs ain't gonna hire a felon because they got a felony and you gotta start from the bottom and then we get to where we at to get here right so the fact that this dude can come home just came home in november 
He just came home in November, and then you were stuck in love with this dude, but the next guy got to make $60,000. The, uh, the guys that we're here saying, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to make this, but Pookie can go ahead and run the streets, and if he get his act together, he can come back and all is forgiven? You see, the good guys understand, why do I got to pay a higher tax? Because you think now you got your act together. No, I should be paying the same amount that you're going to let Pookie pay, okay? Keep the stance the same. Otherwise, it ain't going to work for me. Jurgen says she loves bad boys. She loves more than bad boys. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, what's going on, Janesta? Got Janessa in the chat dropping the $5 holla, turning the green in the chat, saying, hello, that dude named Dave in chat. Well, hey. Hello to you too as well. First thing first. Salute. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you with the super. Dropping that green in the chat. Thank you for coming in, Janesta. Hope you enjoying yourself, okay? You know what I mean? It's hump day. We've been rocking all week here, so we're going to keep cooking and grinding here. So thank you for the holla. Y'all can follow suit because you know what, guys? I love it when you make the chat turn colors. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, guys, we're going to go to the next video now. But this is a situation where that she is going to hurt people, whether it's a dating situation or she's your friend. This is the classic case of someone who needs professional help. There are things that happen in her life that makes her want to date these kind of men. What's going on, Chucky? YouTube jail, that is. <laughs> hey, so we, we got to understand that people we bring in our lives, guys, whether we're dating them or just being friends and hanging out and kicking with them and then see if they're right for us. Because at the end of the day, just because you may be compassionate, you have a good heart and things of that nature, you know, what? It, that don't matter if the other person is just not on the same level as you and they're going to cause all kinds of havoc, you know? I thought he was on vacation. Well, you know what, though? He was on vacation. He was a guest of the state. <laughs> hey, 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 that's what, that's what people say when they don't want, you know, people who are not suspecting. It's like, hey, what happened to such and such? Uh, he, he's a guest of the state. Yeah, he's on vacation. That's, the, that's what he called Gone to November. Literally, remember that song, Wycliffe? I'll be gone to November. He actually came home in November. He was gone till November. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Rome's a fact. We got to go mingle and go from there. But the date convict and somehow she laughs everything never seen. Yeah, man, Rome, I hear you, man. The only vacation you really do, you do not want to go on. Right, right. Larry says Club Pen. Yeah, man, yeah. So, no one situation like that, guys. The fact that she had the audacity to say that she said love after a lockup and she saw some successful situations. If you watch that show, there is nothing successful about that. Even the couples who are together, you can ask the question, the people who, who never went to jail, and you say to yourself, why did you put yourself in this situation here? I understand you love that person. You just made your life even harder. Even though they're together, they just made their life even harder. Like, there's this one couple, like I said, they try to move to Vegas. This dude got four kids. She got three kids, and then they come together, and he fresh out of jail trying to make it work as a rapper. Right. And then he gets her pregnant. And now they got eight kids combined, basically, on her salary. And now she can't work because she got to give birth because she's like eight months pregnant and everything. I think they just had the baby, actually, because they're going to do the update for the new season here. But it's like he got a gang of kids. You got a gang of kids. And then when you come together, then you start making your own kids. But here's the thing, though. He's trying to be a rapper. That ain't no solid income. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Y'all ready for the next video? Press one. She watched the intro and went to the crack house. God dizzle. <laughs> Y'all ready for the next video? Press one. I missed the family. That's what's up. Man. Man, guys, that, that's wild. That's wild. Cold Fusion with the two. You trying to kick back Cold Fusion? <laughs> going on, CF? 
You trying to you you trying to kick it? Oh, my job is called. Hold on, y'all. Uh, they're doing a few things here. Cole Fugin said they need recovery time after that train wreck. <laughs> hey, 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 man, things be going down, man. It's, it's, it's all train wrecks. It's all train wrecks. But you know what, though? We got to keep cooking, y'all. We got to go to the next video. I go to the next video. Yeah, see, people think I be hating women. I don't hate women. People think I hate black women. I don't hate black women. You know what I do? We we re, we look at the views we look at here, and we call a spade a spade and a buck a buck here. Can't get mad at me because I'm not gonna have give someone all roses because they fucking up their life, and I'm supposed to say, "Oh, it's okay." No, you over here talking about you dating Pookie, and Pookie don't care about you, but you still in love with Pookie. Nah, man, we ain't gonna be nice about that crap here. You stop playing with me here. Hold on one second. Okay. Let's do this here. Work's reaching out to me here. They're doing some tests. All right, work. Nah, you don't hate women. You hate Atlanta. <laughs> nah, man. I hate Ohio. <laughs> I hate Ohio, Rome. Get it right. I hate Ohio. How you doing today, that dude named Dave? Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I start off in a bad mood. The replay gang, you know, I, I was on the phone. The worst thing you can do, Janesta, is call your cable company, you know, to get some stuff worked on before you actually, this is work for me. I love doing this, but this is like my second job, right? And the worst thing you can do is talk to your cable provider before you go to work because all they're going to do is make you pissed off. Man, they piss me off. So, you know, I'm, you know, so my, my vibe may be a little, I, I, I'm here. You know, but the vibe is not the same. You know, I'm moving, but I'm moving. But, you know, man, I, I never again, never again will I call Xfinity before I do a live stream. Don't do that. Don't call your cable provider. You're going to be all, all kinds of pissed off holding the phone like, man, am I talking to a retard or what? Y'all just reading a goddamn script. Derek says, Ohio don't like you, Dave. It's a no-fly zone for you. Well, Derek... Who the hell vacations in Ohio? <laughs> Think I'm worried about Ohio? Who the hell vacations in Ohio? What did Joe and Kim Noah say about a decade ago? Yo, man, I don't come to Cleveland in the summertime. Hey, y'all got a nice, y'all nice over there. Y'all probably got some nice people. But who the hell says, you know what? We're going to plan a trip to Ohio this year for a big old vacation. Yay! Let's do it, Daddy! We're going to Ohio! Yay! Ohio! Yeah! Hey, Derek, said no one. <laughs> whole thing drive your cable company no nah, they ain't got my box working well eh, i got an appointment you know janessa we'll, we'll figure it out rome said they violating i ain't violating i'm, I'm speaking facts rome how am i violating has anybody ever said yo we going to Toledo for vacation. I mean, I go visit for family, but no one says, I'm going to Cleveland to go kick it. I'm going to Akron to kick it. I'm going to Toledo to kick it. Or any of nah, I'm going to Columbus to kick it. Says no one. <laughs> Come on, man. What's going on, Ty? Ty just walked in. <laughs> Derek said, "You got you got to check in. Why well, got to check in when I ain't worried about I ain't worried about checking out? <laughs> like I'm coming in to check in and check out. Like I'm worried about that. Hey man, right? Sand, Sandusky, that's Penn State. <laughs> that's that's Pennsylvania. <laughs> hey, I've I've been yelling at automated phone systems. <laughs> you flying to you flying to New York, not over Ohio. I'm flying to New York. I ain't coming to Ohio." 
All right. I ain't worried about Ohio. I'll be in New York in two hours when I fly. Okay. I'll be in New York on Sunday. I'll be in New York on Sunday. Won't be in Ohio on Sunday. I'll be in Manhattan, Derek. I'll be in Manhattan coming up. I'll be in Brooklyn. I'll be in the Bronx. I'll be in Harlem. But you know you're not going to find me at? Cleveland! Akron! Columbus! Ohio in general! No! <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, man. Y'all, you need to calm down over there, Derek. You need to calm down. What's going on, Tito? Got Tito in the building. Are you hitting me up? Oh, shout out to Tito just coming in there. Okay. Before I get to this next video, God Dizzle. Hold on, guys. Hey, Tito, I got to switch my ticker up here. Sandusky's in Ohio on the shores of Lake Erie. Oh, that's where he lives at? But he was coaching at Penn State. That's why I was saying that. Hold on. I got to change it up here. Give me one second, guys. Nope. Whoops. No, no, no. Let me do this here. Hold on. Y'all going to see this in a second. My man, Tito, in the building. Hey, Tito, you see the ticker now? You are right now today's high sponsor. Today's high sponsor is Tito because he came in the cash app. <clears throat> and in the cash app, Tito dropped the $25 holla saying for a 12-piece chicken wing box from Magic City. <laughs> Tito is the sponsor of today's show right now, dropping the $25 cash out. Hey, Tito. Hey, first thing first, Tito. Hey, brother. Salute. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you on the first cash app and the biggest cash app of the night, guys. Tito's in the building. Hey, let me read again, Tito. Hold on. I'm going to put you on the screen here. We got Tito here. He dropped the $25 cash app saying for the 12-piece chicken wing box from Magic City. Shout out to Tito. Tito in the building. What's going on, Upward, man? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Shout out to Tito. Tito coming in hot and heavy. Pause. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. God dizzle, Tito. This show is being sponsored and brought to you by the good man of Tito and the Cacalax of South Carolina, man. Shout out to Tito in the building, man. <laughs> yeah, so I'm lagging, says Sheila. Sh hey, guys, shout out to everybody who, who drops the cash app and y'all dropping the supers. Y'all have no idea. They go a long way, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, even if it's 99 cents or you drop, Tito dropped a $25 holla, you guys have no idea. It's like, yo, man, like, Every little bit counts so that I can just keep doing what I'm doing here to keep the lights on, man. All this stuff costs, man. So thank you, man. Thank you. Tito says, you know how we get down, TDND. Exactly. Hey, Tito, it's been about a year since I saw you, man, because it's the weekend. Remember, we, uh, we went to see Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. Their fight is on Saturday, but their fight last year was April 21st. So it's come on the year anniversary, man, that I actually met you for the first time, man. So that's what's up, man. Good to see you, man. Tito in the building. With Tito dropping that holler, man, we got to get to the next video now. Now, we got to get back to work now. Tito showing that love, man. We got we to get back to work. So, man, y'all ready for the next video? Xfinity is failing me too, says Sheila. Man. And, oh, God. They tripping. They are tripping. Well, what are you saying here, Derek? Hold on. Well, I'm about to get to this next video here. But what's Derek saying here? For all those who hate Ohio, I'm putting case on all y'all. You're going to do this to me. I'm Derek Gaines, a legend. Derek, everybody watching live right now, everybody in the replay gang, all the ninja watchers right now, this is how I feel about Derek's comment right now. I also got one more thing too how I feel about this comment here right now. Here we go. <laughs> One more time. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was that was a soft wet one, wasn't it, Derek? Yeah. Yeah, that's how we feel about it, Derek. A soft wet one. Yeah, that's how I feel about that comment, Derek. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Man, Dave, yeah, we was in Vegas, Las Vegas this time. Yeah, man, time flies by fast, Tito. Don't time fly by fast? 
Lord have mercy, man. Lord have mercy. <laughs> hey, before we move on here, I just see us come in here. Hold on. Cold Fusion dropped the 299 super sticker here. Hey, hold on. Okay, see ya. She dropped the $2.99, but it's actually $3. I don't give a damn about that penny here. Hey, CF got no questions. She got no comments. She just here for the love of the game, y'all. Hey, CF. Thank you. Appreciate you. Salud. Thank you for the holler. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right back at you with the super sticker. Thank you, CF. Got to get back to work now. Appreciate you. Thank you for that holler. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chucky said, Dave, stop having a midnight snack. Ew. Hey, that's, hey Chucky, I'm just letting I'm letting Derek know how I feel about his comments right now. <laughs> Rome said the disrespect is at an all-time high tonight. Hey, man. <laughs> Derek talking that mess right now. So you know he's gonna get this work. All right. We don't care about Cleveland. We don't care about Ohio. Okay. We don't vacation there. What I tell y'all where I'm traveling at, I'm being Manhattan this weekend, right? And then the week after that, I'm going to Vegas. You know what I'm saying? We're going to kick it where we're going to kick it at. We're going to be where we're going to be at. You're never going to hear me say, hey, Tribe, I'm playing a big meetup. We're going to go to Cleveland, and we're going to get down and hot and heavy and dirty. Said never. <laughs> Thank you, CF. And right behind you, CF, I got Sheila with the $199, $2 holla here. We got to give you the upgrade for the penny with that blue in the chat. What you got for me, Sheila? Derek Gaines, eat your apples and be quiet. And <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Sheila coming in heavy. Pause. Hey, Sheila. Salud. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right back at you with that super. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate you. Tell Derek to be quiet over there. Right. Trying to big up Ohio. Ain't nothing going on in Ohio. Yeah. Stop playing with me, Derek. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. And right behind you, Sheila, we got Upward Man. He coming in with the holler, too. He dropping the super sticker with the one nine nine two dollars holler, but it's the red joint here, man, because of super sticker status. But check it out. Upward Man ain't got no questions. He ain't got no comments as well. He dropping the love for the straight love of the game. Thank you, Upper Man. I appreciate you, man. Brother, thank you. Once again, man. Salud. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you with the super sticker. Man, y'all making me feel good now, man. Comcast got under my skin. Now I feel better now. I feel better. I don't know why I'm upset right now. I mean, I was upset because the way they the way they acting, you know, they acting all extra simple. You know what I mean? Thank you, man. Cole Fugis like, come on, Cleveland is cool. CF, stop trying to be nice to Derek. CF, stop being nice to Derek. Stop being nice to Derek. Okay. They ain't gonna help him. They ain't gonna help him. Hey, I know it's fight week, Tito, and I ain't watching that shit. <laughs> hey, Tito. I was explaining to everybody I could have gone to the fight for free. And I said, no, the fight's on Saturday, April 20th in, on the Barclays, Tito. Guess what? I'm flying in town on Sunday. <laughs> That's how I feel about this fight, Tito. It's, this whole card and the whole promotion is straight trash. <laughs> hey, we don't want you in Ohio. There's a picture of you at the airport bus stations. Let it be there, Derek. I ain't going to be there for them to see me. <laughs> Man, the bus stations... I ain't taking no goddamn bus. You think this is? <laughs> I ain't gonna catch me no goddamn Greyhound. I think this is. <laughs> Derek, you must think I'm brokeity broke. <laughs> I'm blackity black broke. What the hell are you talking about, man? Over here taking Greyhounds to Cleveland. You need to stop playing with me, man. <laughs> Come to Detroit for the draft. Actually, I thought about that, Ty. I actually had thought about coming to Detroit for the draft. Because the, the draft was in Vegas last year, and I actually had considered it, man. But uh, And I got a gang of family in Detroit and Flint, Michigan. But, nah, I'm going to be in New York, and then I'm flipping it right. I'll be in New York during that time period, and then right after that, I'll be in Vegas. Yeah. So <laughs> you got to get on to this next video now. What's an R. Kelly from – wait. What's an R. Kelly from Chicago enough said? What do you mean? What's an R. Kelly? What are you talking about R. Kelly for? I didn't fuck with R. Kelly. <laughs> I'm glad his ass got locked up. OK, I know there's some cats who rock of R. Kelly, not me. I, I don't fuck with Dittlers like that, man. My mind's telling me no. Yeah, it should have been. 
Man, I don't know. Nah, I don't rock with R. Kelly. Like that. I stopped listening to R. Kelly songs back in 2011. Okay? You can't give me no R. Kelly jokes here. All right? Ain't no R. Kells going on here. <laughs> you know? This next week, yeah, I'll be in New York next week. Yeah. That's why. I'll be in New York. I'll be in, I'll be in downtown Manhattan. You know? Appreciate you, bro. You run an enjoyable chat, and it's cool to be able to discuss directly with you. Oh, no doubt, Upper Man. I appreciate having you here, man. Yeah, no Diddy, no Kelly. Yeah, no Diddy, no Kelly. Uh, all right, y'all. Let's get to this next joint. Done. I'm done dealing with Derek's Ohio ass here, okay? Derek keep talking. And he he want to act like Ohio's all something nice and big and everything like that, right? You know, only time he care about Ohio is during the goddamn election, trying to find out who's going to win it, Trump or Biden. <laughs> That's the only time we care about Ohio, okay? <laughs> That's the only time we care about Ohio. When we get to the election in November, and who's going to carry it, Trump or Biden, all right? <laughs> That's all we we ain't worried about nothing else about Ohio, Derek. Okay, we watching the, we're watching the elections. It's like it's purple right now. Will it flip red or will it flip blue? Who's gonna get it, Trump or Biden? That's the only time we care about Ohio, Derek. Only time. All right, <laughs> election night, Tuesday in November. Okay, that's all. All right. After that, Ohio goes back to <laughs> back to no nowhere. Okay, y'all gonna lose Donovan Mitchell as well. So you need to calm down. Okay, yes, we rock. Then why Donovan Mitchell gonna leave y'all asses? Okay, why Donovan Mitchell ain't signed no extension yet? Okay, Donovan Mitchell don't want to live there. Donovan Mitchell got traded there to get a max contract over two hundred million. And you know what he's saying? Nah, I'm I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait to free agency. I'm gonna wait to free agency, y'all. I, I ain't signed no long term to be in Cleveland. Okay, and the reason why Lebanon James left, not LeBron James, the reason why Lebanon James left y'all asses, okay? He was tired of Cleveland, okay? He's I grew up here, so I'm enough of this shit. Take me to take me to LA, okay? <laughs> How you gonna be for the whole state? Let's make this personal. Put the belt up. <laughs> uh, sorry, Derek. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> you getting you getting into your feelings right now about Ohio. <laughs> I think it's time for you to move, brother. I think it's time for you to move. Time for you to move, Derek. Time for you to move, Derek. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't want to vote this election. <laughs> hey, you ain't got to vote. <laughs> you do, you don't. It's I ain't Diddy. <laughs> vote or die. <laughs> you ain't going to catch me at no Diddy. Literally, Diddy's like, if you don't vote, you're going to die. <laughs> no, we're not, Diddy. We still living. Things still fucked up. We still doing what we doing here, Diddy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> What's going on, General? Good to see you, man. There's a don't beef with Ohio. Let's keep this personal. Put the belt up. I want my shot. <laughs> White dude just got murdered. Black woman there in South Charles, Ohio. Oh, yeah. I think I heard about that, General. Yeah, we know about that. We know about that, Derek. About the white dude that took out the black girl. Okay, we got to get to this next video, man. Y'all got me rolling right now. Y'all got me rolling right now. Oh, speak of the devil. My milk of magnesia. It's the goddess Isis herself. Hey, man. Hey, shout out to my brothers who like the snow bunnies. Okay. Shout out. Hey, Derek, do you like the snow bunnies? I know the note be funny as hell. I ain't watched this video. No, it'd be so funny. And she was from Ohio. <laughs> Let's find out. I don't know where she's from, man, but it'll be too damn funny. And she says somewhere like Ohio or something. Oh, Derek. Uh, come on, Derek. Don't let her be from Ohio, Derek. Please don't let her be from Ohio, Derek. Please don't let her be from Ohio, Derek. Yes, I am. Okay. Woo. I can't see your face. But... There we go. All right. What's your name? Uh, What's your name? Brenda. Brenda. Brenda got a baby. Got a baby. <laughs> that should be a song you sing to her. Not a Tupac song, Kendra. You don't know how Brenda much I hear that. Got a baby. You have a baby, Brenda? A couple of them. She okay. got a couple of them. Uh oh. I think so. 
No, like, he wasn't talking about me. <laughs> I got all my babies. They ain't in no dumpsters. Okay, don't cut your head off. Brenda, how old are you, girl? I am 32. 32. Okay, since we got there early, how many kids you have? Uh-oh. Um, I have five. Five! five. Um, 14, 8, 6, 4, and 2. How about the same man? Um, no. How many men? How many men? How many men? Five men. Oh! <laughs> um, oh. Oh. I don't know, honestly. I wanted to be with him. Um, monogamy is not something he wanted. Uh, 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 Why are you not with the four-year-old dad? Uh, um, we, we have good communication. It was honestly never a real committed relationship, more of a friendship. Okay. Five or five, y'all. Why are you not with the six-year-old dad? Five or five. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. He's in jail for a while. Jail. Okay. Eight-year-old dad. Um, um. A horrible relationship we had um, ended very bad. He's not involved in his son's life either anymore. Okay. Yeah, I was seventeen, so. Uh, what do you do for a living, Brenda? Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Five kids. Five different magical Negroes. <laughs> hey, she calling Kendra. So you know they all black. I'm stereotyping. They all black. Okay, she went ahead and found five dusty ass ninjas to go ahead and give her five different babies. Okay, hey, I'm judging right now. You a white woman calling Kendra show? You know you don't see that many white people up here, right? You looking for the next Pookie? You looking for the next Ray Ray? You looking for the next Dusty Daryl? Yo, you might be looking for White Mike to shoot up the club right now. Hey man, come on, stop playing with me here. Stop playing with me here. She's five for five. That's the RB special. Okay, did Arby do a five for five special or that was Wendy's? Let me know the fast food joint that was going down for five for five. God damn, man. Can't make this up. Can't make this up. Um, I'm a phlebotomist, um, but I wear many hats. I've done many things right now. I'm not doing phlebotomy. I'm just working at a gas station currently. What the hell? Okay. Do me a favor. Don't cut your head off. You got to be able to see your forehead. Sorry. We're at the gas station. Okay. I can We're see my I'm going to get to this question early, so I'm going to give you a chance to respond. Uh -oh. Now, if I make you a highlight, people may say five kids, five men, that's a lot. And you're 32. So what you say to the man or anybody that is saying that? Uh, um, I don't have any drama. None. None whatsoever. Um, Bullshit. Um, financial support is not what I need. I just want a companion. Bullshit. Um, someone to love me for me. Um, and my kids, you know, um, not that I'm looking for a father because they have their own fathers or father figures. What well, was um, a jail? I just want someone to, to spend the rest of my life with. To spend the rest of your life with. Hold on. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> can I talk, a, can I talk to, in a way that they may understand that some of y'all may understand here? Hold on, guys. Hold on. I could do this, right? I could just. Get the megaphone out and just go yell to the rafters and ask what motherfucker is going to go on a deal with a white woman like this named Brenda who got five different men who gave her five different babies and got situations where dudes are in lockup. This is lockup day. This is, I got to get the megaphone out for the rafters. Okay. I heard Y'all heard me in the back, but... What about if I need to talk real goddamn crazy here? How about this here, guys? How about I talk like this? How about I talk in a way that this sounds so fucking goddamn crazy that she got five kids by five different men? Pookies in jail, got dudes and who ain't good partners. And duck chick, they ain't gay trying to be faithful. She's moving how Brenda is trying to be moving here. How do I sound, y'all? How do I say? <laughs> hey, I'm giving you all different voices here. How about this here? She got five kids by five different magical Negroes. What do y'all think, tribe? What do y'all think? Okay. Hey, man. Let's get it right here. She's got five kids by five different magical Negroes. What do y'all think about that?
<laughs> hey, I got to put it in every different spectrum to make sure y'all understand how I'm talking here, man. Hey, 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 man. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> hold up, hold up. One more again. She's got five different kids by five different men. They gonna tell us there ain't no financial problems. I got one kid and she costs a goddamn lot of money here. What the hell are we talking about? The five kids that don't need no goddamn money. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to the video. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. <laughs> uh, okay. And I, I get to y'all super in a second. No, I'm not done. What's your zodiac sign? Damn zodiac. I'm a Libra. A Libra. And what city you call me from? Uh, um, Toledo. Toledo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, she lives in Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> Works currently at a gas station. Ah, 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 Derek! Where you at, Derek? Where is Derek at? Ah, Derek! Hold on! Derek, where you at? I did not watch this video. This was emailed to me. This is my first time reacting to it. And you want to talk all that bullshit. And what's the next video that comes up? A woman from Toledo. <laughs> hey, hey, Derek. Karma's a motherfucker, ain't it, Derek? Hey, Derek. Karma's a motherfucker, ain't it? Uh, right, Kareem. Ohio's finest. Uh, uh, <laughs> guys, I am not lying to y'all. I have not watched this video at all. Derek came up here talking all kinds of shit, talking about Ohio no-fly zone and everything like that. And what's the very next video that I am watching here is from somebody with Cleveland, with, of Toledo, my bad, with five kids by five different magical Negroes, okay? I didn't set this up. Guys, I will put money on the table. You can hook me up to five different independent lie detector tests from five different companies, and I'll pass them shits with flying colors. Oh, man. The force is strong with me here, guys. The force is strong with me here. Hey, Derek, don't fuck with me. All right? I ain't the one to fuck with. You come talk shit in the chat. I bring your peoples on the screen. Okay? Hey, let me get these supers before we get back to the video. Shout out to Jay Gray in the building with the $2 holla. Turn the chat blue saying, Paul Heyman's daughter for show, ECW, ECW, ECW. <laughs> Stop Paul Heyman. Stop Paul Heyman, man. Hey, my man Jay in the building. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Salud. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you with the super. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. And right behind you, Jay, with that Paul Heyman comment, I got my man T. Lee in the building dropping that green in the chat here with the $5 holla saying, Kendra only went through all five dudes because she's white. White women. White. Hey, T. Lee. Hey, man. Salud. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right back at you with the green holla, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. We got to get back to the video. But, guys, this is what happens. This is, guys, if y'all watching live right now, shout out to everybody in the chat here. Shout out to the replay gang. Shout out to the ninja watchers. You come in the live chat and you talk shit about me. I push your state on blast. Uh, Derek keep coming in here talking Ohio this, Ohio that, and you know what happens? We're going to go ahead and get the Ohio L's out here. Not the Ohio players, the Ohio L's. Okay, so Derek, you need to go ahead and stop with the fuckery here because it's going to keep on keeping on. Okay, you can keep putting cases, man. It don't matter. Like, right, Don Jeter. Derek, you're not a legend. You're a myth. 
<laughs> Rome says, I do like court cases, Derek. <laughs> oh, man. So who's your flavor of the week, Becky? Oh, my God. Hey, man, let's get back to the video, guys. Thank you for the hollers. Thank you for the hollers. We're going to get back into it. Appreciate y'all. Y'all keep dropping them hollers there. Tito's still the high sponsor of today's show right now. Tito's still rocking with that $25 holler. Let me, let me put that up here. I got to switch it up here so you guys know. Hold on. I got to edit this even more here. Hold on. Let me do this here. All right. Let me do this here. This is how we'll distinguish. Yeah, we'll do it like this so you guys know exactly why he's the high one here. He dropped the $25 cash app, right? It could, if y'all want to go ahead and be the high sponsor, you got to accumulate more than the 25 from Tito or whatever the case may be. Drop high, whatever the case was going on here. But shout out to Tito. Appreciate all y'all supers, man. Let's get back into it here. But Derek, stop it. Stop it. Now we got to talk to your white sister about what she's looking for in Toledo, brother. Just stop it, Derek. Just stop it. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for you, Derek. It's not healthy. Okay? Let's get back into it. <laughs> she also has been a, phlo a phlebotomist, if I can say it right, in the past. Mom of five kids by five men. Have you ever been married? Um, no. And never been okay. married. All right, girl. Excuse me. You ready? Yes. Okay. What, what kind of man you looking for? Let's go, y'all. Um, I'm just a genuine, down to earth. Um, I am looking for monogamy. Um, someone hardworking, dedicated to what he wants to do. Okay. What, what are your deal breakers? Um, um, not a good father if he has children. Um, abusive. Yeah, I see abusive. Um, controlling. Or just a bum. Or just, just a, bum. a bum. Okay. You got some nerve. A certain way. No, um, I do prefer black men. I told you. <laughs> She's white, Kendra. I'm white. You're white, Caucasian. <laughs> okay. Um, There's another question. Hopefully it's not too invasive. Are all your children's dads black or are they different ethnicities? Um, They are. My youngest son, he's mixed with um black and Hispanic. <laughs> They're black and white. So they're all, all mixed. What? All your children's dads are men, black and white. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey, I told you she rocking with the brother. Hey, Derek, go for it, Derek. Go for it, Derek. You can go holler, Derek. Hold on. Let me change my voice for it. Hey, Derek, go ahead and holler at Brenda. She's in Toledo. How far is Toledo from your house, Derek? I need to know right now if you need to go ahead and holler. She's a little bit younger than you, but hey, this is all you, Derek. This is all you. Back to the video. But you prefer this time a black man? Yes. No, all their fathers are black. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, I guess mixed black and white is still black. Okay, right. got it. Um, So you prefer a black man. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Money. Um, No. No, just be able to take care of himself and um, provide a little for me because I do have five kids, so support is always, always wonderful. Okay. So, in what ways do you want him to provide? Do you want him to help you pay some bills? Is he taking the kids out? Like, what? What is your definition of helping you to provide? What, being a provider? just being there as a man, not paying my bills because I pay my own bills. But you know, there's times I fall short of things that I could always use someone to help me, you know, if I'm a little short or just, just being there, you know, um, okay. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. really about could it. Have, could he have kids already? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. You don't mind. Um, let's do the Kendra cam. Uh -oh. Okay. 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 What's she working with y'all? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Derek, what's your girl working with? She got a double Sorry. neck. She got the turkey <laughs> double neck already. My kids are busting in at me. Oh no. <laughs> She's already got the turkey neck, y'all. She already got the gobble gobble. Here we go, Derek. Think about her. Think camera. about her. Think about her, Derek. I mean, you don't look bad for five kids. <laughs> yeah. So, Derek, 
Man, you tell me about this here. Do you think that she's worthy enough for you to slide her DMs, Derek? I need to know. This is TDND. This is that dude named Dave. I need to know if Derek Gaines is willing to slide in his DMs here. I need to find out if this is his cup of tea. I need to know if this is his milk of magnesia. Derek, we need to know this. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. <laughs> what do y'all think? Yeah. <laughs> um, Brenda, when was your last relationship? Um, two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh-oh, buns glaze. Two weeks ago. Oh! Who was you I got friends, Kendra. Well, okay. She got friends, Kendra. She got I friends. These men. Why not? Uh, I just can't find anyone that wants monogamy. Everyone wants to do what they want to do. No one really wants to step up. I know I'm a lot. I got five kids. It's it's a struggle. It's real. But um, I'm a good person. You know, I'm a loving, caring person. Genuine. Okay. You're okay with having friendship sex? Not forever, but I, I mean, I got needs as of right now too. But if I met the right man, I would, I, there's nothing that I wouldn't stop doing for him. Okay. So, so Derek, let me know. This is your girl. I need you to let the chat know. Are you going to slide in these DMs? Okay. She's down with the situation chips. Okay, Derek? Yo, she got a buddy that got down and dirty with her two weeks ago. Eternal bust downs is Don Jeter. Yes, my voice is a little off right now, but that's on purpose because this is definitely, most definitely for Derek. Yeah, Derek, what do you think here? Bust down, bust down, busting down. Bust down, bust down, busting down. Let's continue. So if you met a guy you could be with, then the friendship guy will be gone. He'll oh, be yeah. Gone. In a heartbeat. Now, do you want more kids? No. No. I don't so, want the five I got, but I love them. I, I God damn. Question. So are you saying it's because you have needs? You can't potentially try the rule unless you're in a relationship not to have sex? I'm sorry. What, what do you okay, mean? Okay. So thought about only having sex if you're in a committed relationship have you ever thought about oh, that yeah. i have i have um but it, it comes rare i don't know i i i've really had trouble finding men that want to be committed okay and I'm, I'm like really hard to deal with if i i don't i'm not hard to deal with but if i see that, that you're stepping out then i'm i'm like i'm not about to sit here and be faithful to someone that's not faithful to me. That's a, I understand. I, I, I do want to say that. I think in the dating aspect, you should date, right? I always tell women, I don't say to have sex with a lot of men. We should definitely date as much as possible. But you're with a guy two weeks ago. And I mean, you're, listen, you're grown. And I respect that you have needs. But when y'all ask for committed, monogamous relationships, then the guy... Dirk, you do not have standards. Guys watching are going to say, well, why should I potentially rise all the way to the occasion when I know I can still have sex without rising to the occasion? Well, that's the thing. I'm not just having sex with anybody. This guy I've been dealing with for a while, he is just a friend, and I know that doesn't make it much better. I've just been sleeping with this guy that I'm not in a relationship with, but we do have a good bond, a good spiritual bond. Um, and I do really like him and did want to be with him. But like I said, monogamy is just not his thing. So I'm not going to pressure him. And I do have needs. So I am sleeping with one person, so, you know, and I made that decision to only sleep with one instead of just keep roaming and dating. And so you're sleeping know. with one, but he's sleeping with more women than just you. I'm pretty positive. OK, and you're yeah, and you're fine with that. No, that's why I, I'm here, Kendra, talking to you. I want it to end. I want to, I want to, you know, I don't want to jump in with somebody. I want to get to know them. I want them to get to know me um, and potentially move forward with someone to a better life, you know? Well, let me ask you this, and I, and I understand that 
could you cut him off if there wasn't another guy? Because like oh. right now, like like could you just get to the point where I want more? Now, granted, there's not another option, right. but I know what I want. You can't give. So for me, regardless of another man showing up, let me just cut you off. Do you yeah. think you can ever do that, or will you only end this if you find another guy? I, I could definitely do it. And I have kind of started to do it. I don't deal with him as much as I used to. I don't give him much of myself or my space, but I do backtrack sometimes when, you know, needs arise or I'm lonely. I get lonely. I have sit in the house with five kids a lot, you know, so I, I long for that companion or that touch. And I don't know. But Derek, she longed for that touch. This is all you. I am talking like this on purpose because you get in this work. You talk all this other shit, so this is all for you, my friend. This is all for you, like Janet Jackson. Go for it, brother. Go for it. Do the job, Derek. Back to the video. But yeah, most definitely. I understand. I, I, just, I, I do understand, but... Always remember, actions speak louder than words. And this guy, he is, this guy probably is never going to settle down because what would be the reason? Right. Like, exactly. you know, but. I guess y'all super in a second. Um, did I ask you the three flaws you have to work on? No, I don't think so. Um, that, that right there. <laughs> Sleeping outside of a relationship. Um, Lord have mercy. Um, I would say. Um, I tend to shut out when I um, when I feel overwhelmed or um, I don't know. I just I'll shut out or tune out, ignore stuff a lot. I gotta stop doing that. And um, my career—that's a flaw of mine. I need to get back on track with that. Okay. Yeah. And. Um those are major goddamn flaws, but I don't want to go too long. Let me get these supers before we finish this video out here. They going along here. Got my man upward man dropping the four ninety nine five dollar holla. I hope I'm talking normal here now. I've been changing my voice, but Derek here dropping that grain in the chat here saying D. That's how Nug Nug sounded when that Molly kicked in. Club blasted. Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Molly kicked in. That's how it sounded when the Molly kicked in. <laughs> hey, hey, upper man. Hey, brother, salute. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you with the super. Wait a minute, hold on. This is how it sounds when the Molly kicks in. I I've never taken Molly before. Is this how it sounds when the Molly kicks in? Or does it sound like this when the molly kicks in? I'm trying to find out here. I've never taken the molly. I don't pop the pool. I, I pop the pill. I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the pill and I'm sweating. Woo! Or, or does it sound like this when I pop the pill? I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the molly. I'm sweating. Woo! Hey, y'all. Shout out to Upper Man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate the holler, man. And right behind you, we got Don G, the big joker, with the $9.99, $10 holler, putting a little yellow in the chat here, saying, put a black light to her face, and you will see a civilization party. Hey, man, that's wrong. Hey, come on, Don. Hey, come on, Don. You wild for that one, man. Hey, hey, Don. First day, first brother. Salute. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right back at you with the $10 holla, man. With the $10 holla. What's going on, man? I appreciate you, man. Oh, man. Y'all killing me today, man. You sound like Stephen A now. <laughs> and that was Stephen A. <laughs> hey, hold on. Which one? Was this Stephen A here? Hold on. Hold on. Did this one sound like Stephen A. Smith here? Hold up, hold up. Is it Stephen A. Smith? I got a 16 hat here, and I got a hole in my lap. It's starting right now. Is that the one Stephen A. Smith? Or is it this one? Is it this one? Is Stephen A. Smith? I got to tell you right now. Shannon Sharp. Put the camera on me, Shannon. I tell you right now. Is this what Stephen A. sounds like? Or is it the third one? Does Stephen A. sound like this here? Come on, pop the pal, Molly, and I'm sweating. Woo!
I got to stop, y'all. I got to stop. Okay. Appreciate it, Don Jeter. Appreciate the holla, man. We got to get back to the video. All right. Daytime Florida, the voices got me down while rolling up my essential product. Hey, congrats. Yeah, hey, I wish I could roll up right now. Shout out to you, Jay. <laughs> the, which one? The first, second, or third one? <laughs> I got to do the playback and see how I sound here, man. Uh, Rome says she got more DNA than, in her than a ditty party. God damn. Okay, okay. Let's get back to the video, guys. I know I've been messing around here because of Derek. Derek brought it on himself here. You know what I'm saying? But what are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to move here? This is the situation that we got here. He brought it on himself here. I know I changed my voice here. You know what I mean? I'm just having a good time on a Wednesday. You know what I mean? Yo, we popped the molly and we sweating. Woo! <laughs> Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm down to earth. I'm genuine. Um, I'm willing to adjust um to any situation. Um, willing to learn to love um another, you know. Um, I don't discriminate in any way, shape, or form. Stop instigating wrong. Okay, I don't discriminate in any way, shape, or form. We got Brenda, 32, Libra. Oh, what's the age range you would date? Um, I would say 30, 32 to like 45. 32 to 45. Um, should he be in Ohio? I would prefer that. She prefers and Ohio, not, Derek. He would have to get himself too. Okay. You close, Derek. You and close. Let's do it. How could the guy reach out to you? Um, my Facebook, which is just my name, Brenda Strong. Brenda Strong. Brenda Strong. All right, here we go. Brenda Strong, 32 Libra, gas station, um, but, comes, but also works as a phlebotomist. Mom of five kids, by five men, um, and she's in Toledo, Ohio, with date 32 to 45. How could they, oh, you tell me how the guy can reach out to you, right? Yeah. Brenda Strong. Yeah. All right, Brenda Boo Boy, you keep me both side with goals, girl. Thank you. All right, bye, baby. Bye. Hey, man. <laughs> Dave, check your mail. <laughs> okay. All right, I got to check this a little bit later. All right. I got it though. I got it. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead. Shout out to T Lee in the building, dropping that two dollar holla, putting that blue in the chat saying, She the reason why I say women are never single. That's a fact, T Lee. That's a fact. That's a fact, brother. Hey, man. Salud. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right back at you with that super. A.T. Lee, that is a fact here. They may not have a steady relationship where say, that's my man, that's my boyfriend, that's my fiance, that's my husband. They may not have that, but at any given time, they are one text or one phone call away from getting that dick delivered to their house. They may say they ain't got nobody that they're dating seriously here, but they got somebody to scratch that goddamn itch. Okay, so fellas, don't believe it. Say, oh, I ain't seen nobody. I'm single. When you hear single, just know there's some dick in her back pocket. There's some dick in her back pocket. Yeah, yeah, she 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 got some dick in her back pocket. It, it's it's ready, you know. You know. Remember, you go to school and you see the fire alarm. Said so breaking in, in case of emergency. They pull the fire alarm. Well, the glass already broken. She just pulled down whenever she needs to go ahead and get it. Okay. <laughs> hey, over oh, man said them winter months go goes be hell. She got five winter trophies. God damn man, she down for Dick Nat again. Says Jay. Hey man, hey stop playing with me, man. But you know what though, Derek brought this on himself. Yeah, I 
smell like dirt bike juice after the SK. God damn, man. Come on. Peter says, excuse, excuse. Stall Derek out. Oh, no. Stall Derek out, Dave. Jesus, I'm feeling bad now, dog. <laughs> you want me to stall Derek out now? That's the plea. The stall, stall him out, Debo. <laughs> stall him out, Debo. Rome says, everyone in Ohio ran through her like the interstate. Hey, man. <laughs> Shout out to Upper Man with the $199, $2 holla. Turn the chat blue here. What you got me, brother? She's the only white girl that knows how to use Manitel. Hey, come on, man. Not Manitel. Not Manitel. At the, the Beach Ramon, the big old bottles. Hey, come on, Upper Man. Hey, Upper Man. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right back at you with the super. Not the big bottle, man. Not the big bottle. Hey, upper man, we talk about the big bottle, the big one. Yo, we talk about the big bottle. Hey, man, we talk about the big bottle. Hey, man, hey, you wrong for that one. You wrong for that one. Did Daryl bring out the voices out tonight? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yes, they were. They we had the festival. Derek put the ski mask on. Rome Chicago. Rome said Derek gonna put a ski mask on. You're gonna be like 50 cent ski mask away. Nah, hey Rome, Derek ain't got in him like that. He ain't 50 cent. He ain't got that ski mask way in him, okay? Derek ain't got that ski mask way in him. Stop playing. Hey, Rome, stop instigating, okay? <laughs> Dodgers upper, man, I use that shampoo. <laughs> yes, they are. We have the Riverfront Festival in Cincinnati. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't report me, Rome. <laughs> that shit make your hair grow fast as fuck. <laughs> Pinballs died. Shout out to Jay Gray saying, throw in the towel. Throw in the damn towel. <laughs> Put the $2 hollow turn the blue chat. Hey, Jay. Salute. Thank you for the hollow. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right back at you with the super. Dropping that blue in the plate. <laughs> Rome says, "You say, okay." <laughs> Derek says, "Big middle finger." T- hey Jay, Jay, you want me to throw in the towel, Jay? But look what Derek just sent to me now. You want me to throw in the towel? But this is what Derek says to me. So you know what happens, Derek? Why you gotta be all upset, Derek? 
Why you gotta be in your feelings, Derek? Why do I gotta get the middle finger? Okay? You the one talking all this hella recklessness here, and you in Ohio. How many raggedy, banshee bitches are in Ohio right now? <laughs> hey, man, all I do is Ohio videos, okay? Yo, Ohio is suffering right now. Ohio is taking the L. And Brooklyn is definitely not in the house, okay? Hey, man. Hey, hey. You really want it, Derek? <laughs> do you really want this work? I'm telling you right now. Do you really want this work or do you want The Undertaker? It's The Undertaker! <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Y'all ready for the next video? Press one. Y'all ready for the next video? Press one. I got time for at least another video. Oh, oh man. Hold on. Do I got time for one more video? I think I do. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Shout out to Derek. Shout out to Derek, man. So it's okay, Derek. It's going to be okay. You're going to cry in the car, but it's going to be okay, Derek. Rome, why are you instigating right now? I got your back. Rome, why you got Derek's back right now? You in Georgia. You ain't Ohio. Hey, Rome. I will make this in a, I'll make this in an Ohio Atlanta show going forward. If you're gonna go ahead and rock with Derek here, I'll just make it a point to do nothing but Atlanta and Ohio videos. Okay, Rome? I will come for you too. Pause. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's time that we play a little game here. What do you say? I think it's time that we play a little game here. I think we need to play a game of Cleveland and Atlanta. What is the whole tribe think about this here? Are you down to play a game? Or that going forward, all that we're gonna do is talk about Atlanta and Ohio Banshees. Well, do you really want this work? Because I think it's time that we need to start playing a little game. And this game will be fun for everybody. Atlanta, Ohio. Pick your poison. Or, we just do both. Going forward, we're just going to pick on Atlanta women, and we're going to pick on Ohio women. It don't matter if they're in Bucktown. It don't matter if they live in Peach Street. It don't matter if they're in Toledo. It don't matter if they're in Columbus. It don't matter if they're in Macon, Georgia. It don't matter if they go to UGA. It don't matter if they go to the Ohio State University. I think we're gonna play a little game. And because of Derek and because of Rome, they're gonna feel the pain of this game. <laughs> oh, her man says, D gonna make sure all the women have one go tooth. <laughs> Pinball says, Dave, you got my side hurting. <laughs> I'm safe, my woman in your state. Well, well, there might be a situation where she may not be in my state, so you're not safe, okay? Until your woman says, I do, you are a motherfucking truck. Okay. <laughs> Jay said, Peace Street to Ohio. <laughs> you knew it. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hey man, we gonna name we gonna name off, yo. We gonna name off, yo. <laughs> Only way to take it out if you do a video on your state. Hey, I've done videos on my state. Someone from Chicago's from yesterday. We talking about two days ago. Someone from Naperville. We're crying out loud. Okay, <laughs> they sound like jigsaw. That was the whole point, <laughs> pinball. That was the whole point. Hey, pinball. 
want to play a game as well? We can take it to Florida as well. We would just strictly just go through the banshees and the hood buggers of Ohio, Georgia, and Florida. How about we add Fort Lauderdale to the mix? How about Miami? How about South Beach? We will go to the... You name it, we will go there. If you guys in the camp, the 8-ish crew, the tribe members want to talk shit, I will bring Jigsaw out and it will be on and popping. You guys will get your ass clapped like Diddy. No Diddy. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Rome says, Florida always lit. <laughs> Okay, y'all. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and just to let y'all know right now, before Derek has another rebuttal, this is how I feel about his next statement when he makes a rebuttal. <laughs> That's how I feel about Derek's next rebuttal. <laughs> Okay? One more again. Okay? So, Derek, you come back. That's how, that's what I feel about it. Okay? Jay, Jay says, Dave, you need to put those voice on the intro of, some, of somebody mixtape. Get paid, of course. <laughs> Dave, remind me of Young Sheldon. I never watched that show. I was just joking around the other day. I said, Young Sheldon ain't young no more. I never watched that show. I said, he ain't young no more, though. <laughs> Ew. That's how I feel. Hey, Sheila, that's how I feel about Derek's next response, okay? Before he comes in the chat, just, you know, just know that's the rebuttal to his, to his next response, okay? <laughs> Derek hiding in Dave's bushes this weekend. <laughs> I don't got that many bushes. So if you're in the bushes, it's going to be easy to see you. Hey, I'm, I'm gat clapping, okay? If someone's in my bushes... <laughs> You're getting clapped up. Don't come in my bushes. Don't come in my bushes. Something bad may happen. Get four or five bullets in your ass. My bushes ain't that high. My bushes come up to your chest. Okay? You ain't, you, we gonna see you. If you're in my bushes, you're gonna be seen. You're gonna give you can give up four or five warning shots in your ass. Warning shots, okay? Four or five warning shots. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, let me do it like this. If Derek Gaines shows up in my house, there will be four to five warning shots of bullets straight in his ass, straight dick style, okay? He will get ditty bullets all in his asshole. No pause, okay? We're going to get clap and going to tear that ass open. Nice pause. All right, guys. I got to get to this next video. <laughs> I got to get to this next video. I'm a Big Bang Theory. Who's that peeking? <laughs> right, Jay? Who's that peeking through my window? Ah, Nobody knows <laughs> who's that peeking through my window. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> so, something bad may happen. I'm gonna get a property sign warning that <laughs> I already got that. <laughs> I already got a property sign on my, on my, on my door already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's going on, EJ? Man, you showed up at the three hour mark, <laughs> but salute to you. You missed a lot, man. All I got to say, anybody showing up now, you missed a lot. Hold on. Eric, you need to understand that this voice has been used the majority of the show here. Derek is taking major L's. I sound like Jigsaw for a reason, because he might get four or five warning shots in his ass for talking shit. Ohio gets L's. Ohio forever takes L's. Okay? That's what you miss, Eric. In the synopsis, that's what you miss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's going on, OZ? Salute to you, too. <laughs> Rome says, Derek could have used the skip on the Brenda. No cap. Right, Rome. He could have dropped the holler and could have ended easy for him. He let it ride, man. He let it ride. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. Hey, man. Derek, I am your father. No. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Let your feelings go. You know that is true. No! No! <laughs> uh, I'm having too much fun with y'all tonight, man. Why are we doing this on a Wednesday night like this? Why are we doing this on a Wednesday night like this? <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all ninja are just like, what the fuck is wrong with Dave today? <laughs> Look at Chucky. Chucky says, Chucky says, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> 24 hour lockdown. <laughs> Hold on. It was at that moment, it was at that moment, Derek knew that he had fucked up. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Jay says, Dave on one. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, we just having fun tonight, man. We just having some fun tonight, Jay. <laughs> that slow voice funny as hell. <laughs> hey, man. Derek started. Derek started, guys. Derek started, okay? Derek, Derek wants to start it, but I'm the one that finishes it, okay? <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm a you gonna start it? I'm gonna complete it. Are we finished or are we done, Derek? Derek, are we finished or are we done? Hold on. Derek, are we finished or are we done here? I need to know right now. Okay? Are we finished or are we done, Derek? Just remember, Ohio always gets the motherfucking air. Always. Okay? Are we finished or are we done here, Derek? We finished or are we done? <laughs> He's like, yo, chill. <laughs> Finish him. Fate's out of fate's out of <laughs> I can't even get the words out right. I'm cracking up right now, man. I can't even do it. <laughs> Look at Derek. We are <laughs> we are done for we are done. For now, I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Go go back. Go back, Derek. <laughs> go back, Derek. <laughs> Pinball says, definitely gotta save this. <laughs> it's that dude Vader. <laughs> pause, Derek. Pause. All right, pause. <laughs> no shock on day. <laughs> Mortal Kombat, baby. <laughs> hey, the, the original Mortal Kombat, too. I'm talking about 96 status. We going back 30 years, baby. We going back to the original Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Anish Crew alumni. Okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, we going to go dash cam, y'all. I think Derek said, hey, Derek, I think you sent me this dash cam video, Derek. <laughs> Derek, I think you sent me this dash cam video. So I hope this makes you feel just a little bit better while you're over there crying like a little newborn baby, like a little bitch over there. Derek, stop crying like a little bitch over there and enjoy the video that you sent me. So it's no surprise while we're out here. Listen, yeah. it's all on video inside. I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't like gray. I'm black and white with people. Uh -huh. Everything you guys were doing inside was on video camera. On June 24th, 2023, officers in Florida responded to a local close Florida. in reference to a retail theft in progress. The caller, a loss prevention officer, stated that there were three females inside the store concealing merchandise inside several Kohl's bags and a red suitcase. He even saw one female grab an entire rack of baby clothes. Baby clothes? Over. Oh, oh, it's action ready. We got action ready. It's going down. Hey, we got action ready.
Where's the other one? You got her? Where'd you go? Oh, there she is. I call 911. I can't. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. You're breathing kind of hard here. I'm going to head back in the store, sir. They got her. Bro, they got the other one down back. Yeah. My body came right away. Let it again. I'll whoop your ass. I, you understand me? I, where'd, her, where'd her bag go? I didn't want it to get lost. It's with the other officer. I didn't want it to get lost, dude. I'm sorry. Wait, why did he grab you? Get your ass over there before I yell at you. Uh oh. Do that shit again to me. Damn. The last time you worked here. He grabbed your body down? That's all on the ground. They decided to take it with him. Why would he do that? No kidding. So it's no surprise while we're out here. Listen, yeah. it's all on video inside. I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't like gray. I'm black and white with people. Uh-huh. Everything you guys were doing inside was on video camera. But we didn't walk out with nothing. I know, but you had to put in all suitcases and bags. And uh-huh. it's still in the statute to read. You can't temporarily deprive somebody of their property. You guys can seal in the sh- They're still temporarily no, deprived. No, I didn't conceal nothing. It was in a shopping bag. Okay. okay. Shopping bag. All right. I didn't put sh- nowhere. All right. What y'all... Uh, which car out here is your guys'? Huh? Which car out here is your guys's? I don't have we didn't have a car. We lived here. Okay, how'd you guys get here? We lived here. You like what do you mean like an Uber? Like a lift? Yeah, Uber. Alright, uh, whose phone did you use to do that? Mine. Mine? Yours? Yeah. Alright. Is it more comfortable to stand up or? No, I'm straight. Alright. They, I don't feel like they can take us to, well, take me to jail because I didn't steal. Okay. I'll put it in the sharpen, the shopping thing. I swear to God on my kids. Okay. It's an awful time for you guys to do this. It's raining out here. We don't get wet. Oh, <laughs> y'all hear that? You want to stand up? Hold on. What did I tell y'all yesterday? Cops, I asked what the worst thing that cops hate to do. Y'all said paperwork, right? But also I said the one thing cops hate to do is run. If you make the cops run, that's your ass with the post, man. Run and paperwork. But then you got to make them run in the goddamn rain? Oh, it is on and popping. Matter of fact, let me say it like this. You go ahead and make the police officers run in the rain and got to do paperwork? You poochies are going up shit's river. And up, is that easier? Yeah. Easier. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I do got a history, but That's I don't cool. got no like I don't have no uh like warmth or nothing. All right, where What's are you working at? Huh? You working somewhere right now? Yeah, I do hair. Where do you work at? I do hair. Look at them eyelashes. Y'all see them eyelashes? Man, that's God. Why are you get here doing this shit, though? Too young to be doing this stuff, man. 217 copy one. Do you use your license out of Florida or somewhere else? It's in Florida. It's in Florida. I cannot. I can't go to jail, bro. You can't go to jail? Then don't. Jimmy stealing. I just don't know why you tried to run away. Like, he me for no, you're good. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Because I didn't have sh- so Like, why? Why is I getting detained if I didn't walk out the store with nothing? Yeah, but you let me give, have a second to discuss it with you, tell you, and and you're on your way, right? I hear you're on. But now I'm telling you right now, that's probably going to be a charge right there. You're just trying to run. Hey, I got to run the rain upper, man. You're going to get this work. You have an all black one? Which person here is all black with like yeah, gold? Black. No. All black. It was a purse on the floor. Yeah. Temple, like an all black one, right? Well, did your, did your, who was that, your cousin or your, your friend? That was my cousin. Did she have a purse on there too or no? 
It's coming down out there, man. That rain's coming down hard. You think they want to be out there in them streets like that? They trying to All chill right. in the car. Yeah, we're going to have a good conversation with that uh, that LP. See, my body can't hit the ground right there, right in front of my car. I grabbed her, I go to go pick it up, and he took it with him. Oh, uh, he got the he dropped his body cam. The body cam's getting all wet. Oh, yeah, he pissed yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go around to the other side, the passenger side. All right. Come on, let's not get wet. Come on. You don't want to spend the whole day in wet clothes when you're. I don't want to spend the whole night the whole day in wet clothes either. Uh. It's coming down. She got slides on in the rain. Oh, you know they hood. Wearing slides in this kind of weather. Take that off. Have a seat in the corner. How'd you get here? Where's your car? That's it. Where's the car? What kind of car is it? Oh, it's a black car. I don't know. It's a black car? Yeah, I just got in it. SUV? You just got in it? Yeah, I just got in it. I just got picked up. You don't know these guys? Yeah, I know them. Okay. Oh, they're your cousins, so you know what they drive. What car does? 90 cars. Which one? You want me to show it to you? Just point it out. What the hell? that black car. Which one? The one over in the handicap spot? Yeah, black body. Huh? You parked I mean, illegally in the handicap spot? Is it a Kia? No, it's not a Kia. Or is it an SUV behind it? It's like, I don't know. It's over there. I believe so. 214, do you have yours? <laughs> CI1, she's pointing out a black car by the handicap <laughs> on the left by PetSmart, either the SUV or the Kia uh, as their vehicle. Two rows to your right. Two rows to your right. What is it an SUV or a car? A car. So I don't want a jerk. Yep. But what? Retail that. What I, what I stole them. Well, David. Probably the purse for one. Huh? Probably the purse for one. I brought didn't know with that You purse. didn't bring that in. Yes, I did. You can watch the cameras. I walked in there with that purse. Well, you got nothing in it. No ID. Okay. I, Why? I walked in there. Why did you bring a purse in there? That's my purse. Why did you bring a purse? It's, it's, it's empty. In a, it's nothing in that purse. Either. I know. Why'd you bring a purse in? You gonna lie about the purse? Uh huh. Because you're stealing stuff with it. I ain't it. never put nothing in the purse. That's okay. You're okay, all together. You're, you're all together. You're all okay, together. Okay, they ain't even get nothing. So what's the problem? Oh really? No. You sure about that? Yeah. Okay. They, I seen them when they walked out. Uh -huh. they, ne they ain't never got nothing. That's okay. Don't worry. I guess you don't know the law too much. <laughs> Once you start hiding stuff throughout the store, it's called stealing. Oh, damn. And it's all on camera. So it's gone. Okay. I'm what? Hey, Stop you didn't lying. touch anything in the store? Nothing? Stop I'm lying. Not he didn't even touch me. The man he ran out the number to. Mm hmm. How did I know to stop you? Oh, because he said he said stop, stop me too. Who? The man, the man that when he was when I was walking out the door, he was right there. Ten four. You said for grant that. Ten four. Ten four. You're on probation. Mm -hmm. How long? How long are you on probation for? Well, you were on probation. You don't know. Well, it's grand theft. So did you get a year, two years, oh. five years? I don't know. You just got on a two days. You don't know how long you've been in jail. No, not really. Okay. You're just making it worse for yourself. Don't cooperate. they going to throw the book at your ass. Running in the rain, lying. <laughs> they out of breath. Yeah, I got they going to get your asses. Nothing in it, to No ID. She's uh, Huh? Right, Rome. It's I mean, all inside, though. It's 
So that's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah. Amy's come out and talk to us. So I had I had him call and have him come out here. Hey, she just went on probation two days ago for grand theft. Two days ago. <laughs> two days ago. Huh? No, I'll detain you. They just stand right there. Why? You getting wet? No, just pointing at the standing up and I'll take me to jail. Ain't he repairs all oh, Doesn't matter, hon. Huh? You still don't know the law. I don't know the law. Apparently not. Up yep. As soon as they total it all up, then you're going to get a BOP. I just Damn. Fine, but I still ain't here. Yeah, okay. You're here. Huh? Shop down Lee County. Don't shop up here. Okay. We don't want you stealing it from here. Steal down there. Stay down there and steal if you're going to steal. Here's the thing. I'm going to play in a second. Let me get, I'm going to get the super off the way. I don't want EJ waiting too long here. Shout out to my man EJ with the $2 holla turn the chat blue here saying, Elephant, I'm sorry too, but say you're going to jail. <laughs> yeah, EJ. Didn't want to forget about you, brother. Hey, brother. Salud. Thank you for the holla. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right back at you with that super. Yo. Just because you're not out the store with the things don't mean they ain't got you trying to do some things here. Y'all need to understand the law. Expect they got you on camera doing some things unscrupulous here. Hey, man, y'all can act dumb and not try to answer things of that nature. But when they got your ass on camera like that, yo, man, you got to lawyer up. But you might as well just be honest with them so it can be less light on you. Oh, my God. Thank you for that holler, EJ. Thank you for that holler. This is wild, guys. This is wild. He says, get them baby dresses for Brenda. Let's see here. On probation for criminal crimes. Yo, she's on probation two days ago. She just got on probation two days ago, and here she is now robbing a Coles. They just tell you the people we're dealing with in our society, guys. There's people out here who are fresh out of court, knowing they're on probation, knowing they got to be squeaky clean, and they out here robbing stores right when they get out, man. Can't make this up, yo. Let's get back to it. You're a thief. You already been, convi you're you're already a been convicted as a thief. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okie dokie. Right, Jadarian. I just asked you a question. Don't steal a white phone. Go to where the niggas are at. Purse. No, nobody does. No, only thieves walk around with empty purses because they stuff, stuff stuff in it. Uh, you know, that's easy deduction. 100 women, 100, 100 things in a purse. You, nothing. Except paper. You don't even have ID. Oh, here come the cops. Here come the cops. Got anything on you? No. Knives, drugs, guns, anything? No. Chance to get like that. You're going to jail. Here come the cops. Ooh. Two zero five central. Miss Davis in custody. These two teachers are going to jail. Do you want to play a little game? It's called put the handcuffs on. There you go, Derek. Boom. You want to rob the white coals. This is a whole friggin' group of them, so. Yeah, so we haven't found the car yet? No. Because the girl that she pointed out was the black car, but you said it was a. It was an older white female. I, think I watched her get out and yeah. go into. Yeah, that, so And then that's that smart. She yeah. came back out and got in there. Okay. So the girl that I took, she's saying that they came here in a lift. And I'm like, well, whose phone Jordan lift on? Well, mine. I'm like, okay, well, maybe you want to pull well, in your phone. Yeah, we're taking all our phones in. Yeah, so I, I, I have her phone. Her. Yeah. I took her phone because she was talking to text. This kid. KD, is she a pain? I don't know. That's all right. That's her phone. All right. So, yeah. Um, Please give me a total. Yeah, I told him that we need to get um, pictures and stuff before we start totaling. So, if you have some Yeah, I can handle that. I can 
and then, it's fine. No, I could do it. But um, you're gonna take you and Booker go to district two with them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Baltimore can do his interviews if they want to. Where she just like take me to jail and my my oh. and she, and She's a VOP. There's three. So, How do you want us to split them up? Uh, well, one wants to go to jail anyways. She's not one to talk at all. She goes she, ask she, for a lawyer. No, she's like if he goes. Well, she just put me in, and you got to take me to jail. Just put me in handcuffs and put me in a car. Let's go. So, John, she didn't ask for a lawyer. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, but uh, but her, she, when you take her, tell Walt, it's on. To, to, she's a VOP. Also, she just went on probation two days, and she doesn't know how long she's on probation for. She doesn't know. And she knows the law. She says I she couldn't give you that, Chucky. She tell anything. She I haven't that's looked that up seven. offhand. Oh, actually, she did. I don't know. I. Did she have a purse up there too? The brown one that was brand new? Yeah. yeah, she said she brought that in. It's on the camera where you can see. So she stole it from someplace else. But it's empty. Right. So, and I, and I told but her, they I all said, work. So I was talking to him. He said they all work together, put all the stuff in one spot, put it in the bags, and then yeah. walked out. Not all of them made it all the way out. It doesn't matter. One of them made it out, no. and then turned around and saw law enforcement. Yeah, who did who she say? You? So just, I never saw anyone come out from my side. I had a pretty good open view. I was parked on a truck. Yeah, and I was, I was down that way. So if I came out those doors, I don't know who they see. I don't know because I was freaking hot. Yeah. You, were, you had one in custody. I, I was like, so I sped up. Yeah. So. Well, because she took, started running. Yeah. Both, started, both, both girls that I had both started running. Yeah, well, we'll split up. I grabbed home. one, threw her down. And Cold, the other one not raw. Same we difference. Have, we have one that's still. No, no we, we got all three. three. Oh, yeah. yeah, but two, okay. two booked it up. After a total of over $7,000 of merchandise 7, was found 000. in suitcases and bags, they were all charged with felony grand theft, with one violating probation after only two days of receiving it. I'm sure they will have a brand new outfit waiting for her at the jail. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe. Wow. Wow. Now. Let me just state this here. I, I I don't go to shop at Kohl's anymore. Kohl's don't have the clothes that I need for me. It's they they they've let them go down. They they've gone down. Kohl's has. I only go to Kohl's when I need to go get some new underwear, get some new drawers. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get some new boxes. You know what I mean? I get some socks. I'll get some socks at Kohl's. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need a belt. I'll get a belt or two at Kohl's, things of that nature. That's about it. I ain't shopping for anything else at Kohl's. They ain't got none for me, all right? You know, oh, uh, some and some and brand new T-shirts, right? If I need some T-shirts, I'll be cool on that. Some T-shirts, some socks, some boxers, drawers, maybe a belt, that's it. So I don't shop at Kohl's anymore. But one thing I know that Kohl's do sell, right? One thing I know that Kohl's do sell is shopping. I mean, it's luggage. When you go and travel. So when they said $7,000, what they did was, they went to the corner of the store because it's demand depend on what kind of coals is, whether it's the two level coals or a one level coals, right? We got a we got a lot of them in my neck of the woods here. Matter of fact, there's a coal. How many coals in my where I'm at now? There's one there, there's one there. There's like there, there's literally like four or five coals within like a six mile radius of me, right? One thing that I know about all Kohl's is they have the little luggage area where you can buy the travel suitcases, things of that nature, in the corner in the back. So what they probably did was they scoped out that Coles to see which suitcases that they know they're going to rock with here. Threw all the stuff in the suitcase there and all the stuff, the ancillary stuff they had in their pockets. The problem, though, is that the cameras are on. <laughs> Y'all trying to go in there and act like there's no cameras on, just dumping stuff in suitcases here and hoping you're going to run out and you pick the worst days. Like, if you go, I'm not a, I'm not a thief, right? I, I'm not a criminal. But you don't want to know some guys. I would think that I'm going to pick a day where the weather is not going to be inclement here. It's not going to be raining crazy. That's going to slow my black ass down and it's going to make it harder for me to get away. So y'all pick the worst weather day. Then you pick the coals in the white town because he's like, yo, how come you didn't go down the street? The cop was basically saying, hey, man, you, you, you can rob all day of the niggas. Don't come to the white people. <laughs> you know so the cop was like hey man it may have been bad if you go ahead to the black side of town you come with the white people lad. we got the cameras on it's going down 
So they try to go ahead and use the suitcases. They try to use the, they ran in a, uh, a a pack of three, and then they even the cop picked out the one purse that she had that was empty. She probably had stole that purse from another from another spot because they couldn't conclude that that purse came from Coles. It was empty, and she came in there with it. She probably stole that purse and used that also for the cover. It it was a janky operation. All I gotta say, I ain't no thief. I don't rob nothing. But off the rip, though, I can tell that was not a well thought out plan. All right, we talk about they took a lift, or you know, the one car is parked around the corner. Man, they just went in there saying we gonna rob this cold. We gonna go ahead and grab these clothes and get in, and get out. That that's all it looked like with these three women here. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to get in this coals here. We're going to go in the back and get these suitcases. We're going to throw everything in there in these suitcases as much as we can. And we got a couple empty purses, and we're going to get in and get out. It was no thought process. We said we're just going to rob this place. Not even thinking that white folks is watching y'all because y'all look like niggas. <laughs> Y'all came in in the dirty, dusty ass rain with slides on. All right. I don't know about you. I ain't got to work at Kohl's, but if I see people walking into a store or moving about with slides on or not dressed right and the weather's crazy, hey, man, I'm going to think they rob it. Airplay check. <laughs> we can say they catching felonies from Col Rome. Hey, come on, man. Of all the places you're going to catch a felony at, I would think that if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get caught up, I would think that my, I'm gonna get caught up in a situation where it's gonna be worth my while. Like if I go down, it's like, yo, what you get caught up? Yo, I got caught trying to get 20, 30,000. Not over here trying to rob a goddamn Coles. Coles got clearances all the time. Every time I go to Coles and I do buy things, they give me Coles cash. They mail me Coles cash. I get stuff for free all the time. And you ain't got to rob Coles. Just get on Coles mailing list. They'll send you some Coles cash here. You can get $450 worth of clothes at Coles every month, basically. You don't got to rob Coles when they give you Coles cash every month. Lord have mercy. What's going on, Stevie D? Saying cameras are everywhere. They think there's a dead spot. No realizing the power of Zoom. Not just a dead spot, Stevie D. When we're black, the cameras come on. <laughs> they might have their cameras off. And all of a sudden, then they see the unscrupulous type there. Look at the Pokeshas. Look at the niggas. Turn the cameras back on. We don't trust them. Turn them back on. We don't trust them. Don says, somebody tried to steal my Panam. Panama suitcase one time from the airport and take it. Damn, for real? They trying to steal your suitcase? Man, that's wild. David used that deep voice and said, tear the roof off the sucker. <laughs> we don't tear off the roof. We don't tear off the roof off the sucker. <laughs> People don't think how embarrassing uh, that Bond Heron will be explaining the Robin Cole man, Rome. That's gonna be crazy when they go in front of the judge and they go through all the counts and say at Coles. And you're gonna hear that's like, you did all this at Coles? Like, how about y'all plan this out properly? Wear the right clothes, go to the right store, you know, scope out the store so you know what's going on, and then you come back later with different different outfit on and you look the part so you can go ahead and rob the place. Y'all just can't be going in blind, just going in and dash and grab and dash. You know what I mean? That's what they try to do. They try to come in and do a grab and dash. You know what I mean? The problem is y'all walk into a white coals and the white coals was waiting for y'all niggas, okay? They had y'all on camera. They had the cops in the parking lot. And they said, look, the niggas are here. It look like they're about to be robbing. We need you in the parking lot right now. And that's what happened, okay? Y'all keep moving like this and y'all keep getting these dumbass cases. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jay says, bum, Keisha, too lazy to go through that, uh, <laughs> that rigmarole, Dave. I'm just <laughs> too lazy. Jay. I get Kohl's cash mailed to me every single week, every month, I mean. $50 free. You ain't got to go too much. Just sit and wait for the mailbox. Kohl's going to send you some gift cards. They be like, coming. They get, they, they literally are getting, and then we go to the checkout. They'll, they mark it down. T-shirts say they $15. You get to the register, they say $4.99. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, they use your Kohl's cash. They actually know you got so much Kohl's cash, you might get credit coming back. You know what I'm saying? Coles be giving away clothes, man. And you over here robbing Coles? Man, you better off robbing Marshalls. <laughs> Marshalls don't be giving away Marshalls cash. Marshalls just marks down stuff because everything's irregular. Reason why Marshalls is so cheap, guys, there's this thing called irregulars. I don't know if you know this, right? Because they get their clothes from...
from the top big box retailers, right? But if something's off, like if there's a button off or a string wasn't attached right or sold right, or the pants, you know, it's like, it, let's say the pants is 33, 30, but one leg is 29 and the other leg is 30. You know what I'm saying? So you get the discount and then depending on the circumstance of the clothes, you can take them to the cleaners and try to alter them, you know, so that you can actually make them work for you. That's that's why Marshalls are so cheap. There's something came out the production line. Coles is different, right? They got both. They got the regulars and they got their own brands. But the thing is that they give out coupons and Coles cash all the damn time so that you're never really in the pay, paying the right same price. Whatever the price is on the rack at Coles, don't believe it. It's always goddamn cheaper. And even if you don't think it's cheaper, when you get to the register and then if you got an account already, the Coles cash already pick up and then you're going to be off the game. You ain't got to do nothing. Just go to Coles one time and buy something one time and then enter your phone number and then for life you gonna get coupons for life every single month <laughs> yo man you're gonna rob the place that gives clothes away for free <laughs> you could have got free if you're just working right just come to Coles once a month and get your free clothes you ain't gotta rob the place just show up once a month <laughs> hey man hey he said facts is a Coles cookware be fire. Hey, the one thing about Coles though, they cookware. They that they, they they got the they got the cheap stuff from them and they got the top of the line. That's one thing about Coles though. They they got the top of the line stuff too. They'll go, they got all levels of their cookware from you ain't lying about that. But when it comes to the clothes, different ball game, okay? Different ball game. All right. Stevie D said, Dave, it was worse for me when my son worked there. So many discounts, still had jury having worn. Hey, I believe it, Stevie. Your, your son worked there. Oh man, you had the hookup then. Now that you have Coles cash, you had the you had the employee discount. Hey man, and I, who who knows how they hooked your son up too, man? Man, you probably you say you got jewelry still ain't worn. You probably got a nice little dresser just looking like damn. I, I should wear this, but I don't feel like I got too much stuff from Coles here. Man, all Coles do it. Why rob the place that gives things away for free? <laughs> <laughs> and the the nigga dumb is at an all time high. The nigga dumb is at an all time high. Lord have mercy, y'all. Hey man, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. But you know, black folks, we getting stupider and stupider. Okay, over here robbing places that give stuff away for free. <laughs> and uh, and here's the thing too, guys. Think about this for a second. How many things that they put in them suitcases to get up to $7,000 in coals? <laughs> what the hell are you stealing to get $7,000 out of coals? That's goddamn near impossible. They, they, they had to have been stealing every single suitcase and threw everything in all them suitcases. They had to have like six or seven suitcases and threw everything in them suitcases, man. It's almost goddamn impossible to rob Coles of $7,000. Guys, if anybody in the chat can tell me how can you get $7,000 out of Coles, you let me know. I'm trying to figure that out. All right. I got to go to Coles this weekend and get a couple T-shirts. I'm going to go walk around and say, can I see anything here for $7,000 in here or a combination of things? Like, even the shoes are discounted, man. You buy some Nikes, they say $69.99. You get to the register, they say $19.99. Like, God damn, these are Nikes for 20 bucks. Like, what the hell is going on, man? Electronics department made me. Man, you can't fit them electronics in, that, in, in them suitcases, man. They're awkward. The boxes. You know what I mean? Electronics are going to be boxes. They're going to be in a certain... And some of the things are locked up to in case with electronics. So even if you did get the electronics, how are they all going to fit into the suitcases? Seven Gs. Seven Gs. That means that they were stealing every single suitcase. Yo, they have Ulta and some fire smell goods. Yeah, they got Ulta in there, too. I've seen that. Yeah, no, The Ulta stuff for the women's makeup be marked down, too. I walked in there looking around, you know, I was like, yo, $20 here, $40 here, $50 here. Kohl's is not the store that has $200 items here, then $500 items here, $550 here, $300 here, $1,000 here. It's not that kind of department store where you're just going to find, like, the big item things. Now, of course, the electronics and the silverware, like the, the, the kitchenware, things of that nature, that can add up, but... How are you going to steal a damn vacuum cleaner? 
<laughs> you know how big a box is for a vacuum cleaner? Even me trying to steal an iRobot. You know how big a box is for an iRobot vacuum cleaner? Apple products, they locked up, upper man. They got them and they got them things locked up. At least where I live at, they got them in, you gotta get the key for the Apple products. And even the Apple products, they ain't even got that many Apple products and codes. They cheap as hell. They got the generic Apple products. They, they're not even Apple, okay? They're compatible with Apple. <laughs> you know, they're not even selling like Apple earbuds, stuff like that there. They're the, they're the generic earbuds. They'll say compatible with iPhone. <laughs> I need to tell you, it sounds like an old school uh, Mervins. It, it, it's, 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 a, it's a good discount spot, man, that you can get, you can get suits, T-shirts, you know, uh, regular clothes, jeans. You can get swimwear. It's a regular department store, but they falling on hard times, so they got discounts all the damn time. Like they actually got real good. They can actually have spots where they have Nike and Converse, but everything's marked down. It's not going to be like brand new in season, if that makes sense. You're not going to get in season stuff at Kohl's. It's going to be out of season, or it's going to be like lowercase labels and things of that nature. You know, but come on, man. It's like Don says, I knew a white girl worked in Coles after that night. I ne I never knew her again. Oh, for real? <laughs> what was she doing, Don? I knew a white girl worked in Coles after that night. I never knew her again. Hey, what, 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 what did you do something? What did you do something with her, Don? What what'd you do to her? Don, did you play a little game with her? Don Cheetah, did you do something to her? Did you play a little game? Did you play a little hanky panky? We need to know. Got a little bit of open ended there. Did you do something in the department store? Do something a little strange? A little piece of change? We need to know, Don Cheetah. We need to know. How come you didn't see White Becky again? Why she was a one and done after one night? We trying to find out, Don. You trying to find out, man? I'm just trying to find out, man. Why, yo? Why you only saw Becky one time? <laughs> why you only saw Becky one time? Oh wow! I didn't know it's that late. It's nine o'clock my time. It means it's ten o'clock Eastern. Damn, it's late. Oh boy! Shout out to everybody here. I think that's my time. I think I'm gonna shut this live stream, guys. We've been over, we've been here for over three and a half hours. Oh, three forty. We're knocking on four hours today, baby. Yeah, we're going to shut this, shut this show down, man. Oh, man. Shout out to Derek. Hold on. Let me say shout out to Derek. He wanted to play the game. And when he played the game, he lost. Derek, you need to understand. You can't fuck with me. You can't fuck with TDD. You can't fuck with that dude in game. You come for me, I come for all of Ohio. I don't play that sucker shit. So Derek, keep talking that shit. Keep talking that, keep moving it, and we'll play a game. They know what that game is? Derek gets fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Derek gonna say, get off my screen, shot <laughs> Don't get mad at me, Derek. Don't get mad at me. You started, I finish it. <laughs> you started, Derek, I finish it. <laughs> D got the Damien Omen voice going. <laughs> hey, man. I'm more like Jigsaw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Would you like to play a little game? If you win the game, you get out alive. If you don't win the game, you get your dick chopped off. How do you want to proceed? Hey, man. Hey, man. That'd be messed up. Wouldn't that be messed up? If that happened to y'all? It's like, we're going to play a game. You lose, you get your dick chopped off. No! <laughs> 
<laughs> Ohio rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Becky ate my Gooch cowboy one time. I looked at her and said, that's wild in my Ethan Queen voice. <laughs> For real, man. Was it like this? That's wild. Really, dude, man. What the That's wild. <laughs> Time flies when they be on one. You ain't lying, pinball man. I ain't know I was gonna be here for four hours. Time be flying, man. I get online and I'm like, yo, I gotta get ready for work in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get ready for I gotta eat some din din. I get ready for work in the morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gooch Cabo is crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. You done, Derek? You better be done. <laughs> I like to play a game. Next word spoken by the judge to the thieves. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, guys. Shout out to everybody that came in today in the super chat. Super thanks. Super stickers in the cash apps. Like I said, you see the ticker down below here. Shout out to my man Tito Helper, the original day one. My man, 50 grand that I've known for a long time, man. He is today's high sponsor. And I'm letting you guys know when y'all support the show, you guys get acknowledged. Not just verbally, real time here. We put you on the ticker. So whenever you want to come back to this live stream or anybody's going to watch it here, they're going to know who support the live stream here? Who was the sponsor here? So today's sponsor is my good old friend, Tito Helper, who dropped the highest one in the $25 catch up. All y'all contribute. I know some of y'all dropped $2, 5 10 Y'all did multiples, but Tito was the high one here. So shout out to Tito, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate you here. Peace out. Derek said, peace chat. I'll be back. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be back, Derek? Are you sure, Derek? Oh, you're gonna run and hide like a little bitch. You need to know this, Derek. If I drop the next live stream, and if you don't come back, you know you're running like a little bitch. Hey, let me stop, Derek. I'm gonna stop messing with you, man. But yeah, guys, I, it's fun messing with you, Derek. You my god, man. It's all fun and games. Yes, I need you guys to hit the like button. Like, comment, subscribe, share these videos. As always, like I said, thank you for everybody in the cash apps, everybody in the super chat, super thanks, super stickers, man. It's been fun rocking for these last four days. I'm letting y'all know right now, there's no live on Thursday. No live tomorrow. I'll be in the plantation. I got to work a long shift tomorrow. So no live on Thursday. We're going to run this back on Friday. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all good, Derek, man. It's all fun and games, man. But like I said, no live on Thursday. We'll run it back on Friday. All right, guys. So on that note, we're going to get out of here. Y'all have a good night. Y'all be safe. Y'all take care of yourselves. Don't be doing no dick nanigans to get yourselves in trouble. Don't be robbing no coals, okay? Don't be messing with Brenda with five kids by five different men up in Toledo, Derek, okay? Because she's going to give you baby number six because all she do is fuck around with ninjas, okay? All right? Y'all be safe. Y'all be clean. And y'all do the right thing. And as always, I'm that dude named Dave. And I'll catch y'all on the next live. Y'all be good to yourselves here. And peace out.